welcome. Good evening. You have tuned into the Eiffel Tower Pub Quiz, also known as Quiz Night. Yep. Whatever you prefer. We got we got music in here. We've got a <laughs> lovely Lena who is a co-host. Hi. Wife of the host. Yes. My name's Oliver G. Welcome to One and All. Uh, it's very bright here. It's super bright. Yeah. Beca it will get better soon though. Beca Don't worry. There's not much we can do about it. The sun keeps setting uh, later and later for every pub quiz. Yes. Which is nice. And I guess you know it will keep keeps us nice and bright. And we only have one wind, uh, one sofa. So yeah. That's what you get. So uh, let us know, as usual, where you're watching from. As people tune in, we'll give the rules and explain what you can expect. And uh, there's that music again. I love it. So where are people watching from later? You take an eye on that while I get All this right. set up. We've got California, Connecticut, London. This is great. Oregon, New Jersey. Exciting. Okay, now we've I've got the comments. We can wind that music. All right. <laughs> Newcastle upon time. That's very uh, okay. So what we're gonna do here is a pub quiz, a traditional pub quiz. I'll need to. Uh, oh no, I won't. There you go. Now we've got the comments coming up as well. Yes. Ah, uh, now we're talking. We are all set. All right. Hello, everyone. So good, well, good, good. There's a few things that are different as it, with every pub quiz, and there's a lot of things exactly the same. Holy smokes! Two hundred and forty people watching. Wow, record. Hello, record. That calls for a celebration, if you ask me. And we've I... got just the thing to celebrate with. Just the treat. Should we start with celebration or rules as people get ready? Um, how about the two at the same time? Okay. Oh, no. Yes, I've got an yes. idea. You start with the celebration, getting that ready. And I'm going to tell everybody, people who are watching uh, for the first time ever here, someone, uh, uh, oh goodness, I've forgotten his name. Oh dear. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot. Oh, no. Scott, it was Scott. Scott. Uh, sent in a score sheet so that you guys, if you've, we're gonna start the quiz in probably three, four minutes. If you've got a printer, highly recommend that you uh, put this into, let's have a look, print this off and score on it. It's actually really awesome. So I just put a link to my website for the pub quiz. Scroll down, click on, um, uh, what do you call it? Download the whatever and get a score sheet. Now, all right. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Shell. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Uh, mm. so have you shown what we're celebrating with? I have not, but I will do. We are celebrating tonight with this orange beauty. It's not orange. It's what's, not juice. What's the name exactly? What does it say? It's Mionetto Prosecco. Mionetto, everyone. So I guess we're going Italian tonight. Mionetto. Yes. Mionetto. And oh, let's see if this. Uh -oh. Do you want to do this? I can do this, and why don't you start <laughs> telling the rules and then we'll get into it. Alright, so if you've been here for the past few weekends, this is pub quiz, what is it, five, six? I think it's volume five. Wow, okay, so this is number five. So if you've been here from the start, you know by now the rules, it's pretty easy. Uh, basically, do not cheat and do not write the answers in the com <laughs> comment section. <laughs> That's the main rule. Don't write the answer. I say it every time. But last yes. week, no one uh, cheated. But uh, Yeah, it was such a good team effort. Yeah, so we'll go for that perfect. again. Now, 30 questions, 30 points. Mm -hmm. Straightforward. Six different categories. Uh, also, as uh, this, a little shout out as we pour the drinks. This pub quiz has been featured on the, on the national news. I know, it's very exciting. France 24. I wonder if we have some new... New is Clovis watching the journalist who uh, who filmed? Say hello. I've not really been he paying is. attention. Is he? He is. I just saw him pop up. Clovis. A little bit of fun trivia for you guys. Clovis is the name of the first king of the Franks. That's right. Clovis the first. Clue? Potentially. Okay. Potentially. Let's get going. Cheers, everyone. If you're having a drink at home, we're joining you and uh, the way we do it is one of us reads questions, the other one keeps an eye on the comments. That's why we've missed so many of the comments so far. You got the score sheet printed out. Did I'm just out of pure intrigue. Did anyone print out the score sheet? Uh, that should be that should be good. Hey, is Eddie here, says Julie. Good question. <laughs> I don't know if my own brother is here. Eddie, say hi. And uh, do we need to plug in the computer or? Um, Let's just get so, into so, it. So, so. It's all right. And if you're watching the replay, 
Uh, we'll do a quiz for about, I'd say, about an hour, and then we'll hang around and answer anyone's questions about uh, lockdown, Paris, France, anything you want. That's the plan. Jody Beam, love, love, loves France 24. Great. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Here we go. We're going to start with... I see the, the number of viewers went down rather dramatically, but it seems to be picking up again. Maybe an ad played. Perhaps. Is Perhaps. there anything we've missed in the introduction? I don't think so. It's, uh, yes, pretty straightforward. Try to get as many points as possible. A few people printed out. That's Excellent. I love it. Oh, cool. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, the other thing, uh, reigning champion Claudine Hemingway and two-time reigning champion Maria Tranzado and Melinda, who won the first one, all get a point off for everyone you've lost. We, everyone you've won. So you can't just beat us all. It's a handicap. Every time. Much and like... Golf. Print, print is for play. the bourgeoisie. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Okay, and before we begin with the first question on a section called Dining in Paris. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, Holly made a really good point and she says there's 160 people watching and only 46 likes. Hit that like button. Uh, we get this little dinghy in our ear, which we love, don't we? We love it. Yeah. There you go. Click, 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 click. Here we go. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's going up. Great. Exciting. All right, should we get going? Yeah, first, ready? first section is called Dining in Paris. As usual, five questions per segment, so six segments. They get progressively harder. They should start criminally easy and get criminally difficult. Here we go. Dining in Paris. Question one. If a waiter walks past you and you ask him for l'addition, l'addition, what are you requesting? This is multiple choice. It's an easy one. Multiple choice. Um, are you requesting more ice cubes? That's A. Oh, I see that we have someone in potential jail here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I might need to repeat. Please do not put your answers in the comment section because everyone will see it and you'll help everyone else. I love when Please people don't. go to prison for putting answers so, yeah. on the first easy question. <laughs> uh, because yeah, that's good. Who was it that did it? Die R. Yeah. If you don't uh, mention that you understand the rules, I will block you from the channel forever. Oh dear. Well, that's fair enough because we can't risk it we're happening. Very or, harsh. Uh, plus, the answer might be wrong. Yeah. Although that's the quickest, uh, that's the quickest prison ever in Eiffel Tower. Yeah, it was just like, like that. You don't write the answers. Die, you've got five seconds to tell me you understand. Uh, okay, so uh, in, in, the, in the Basti prison, as some people have been saying. In the Basti. <laughs> so the first question yeah. is, if you ask for l'addition, are you asking for A, the bill? <laughs> A, ice cubes. B, the bill. Or C, uh, to be changed to a seat on the terrace, if possible. Mm. That is a nice and long translation for a short word. Shall I go over it again? Oh yeah, that's the other thing I'm going to experiment with. I'm going to put the questions in as I go. Uh, and that way we won't need to repeat it afterwards. Oh yeah. How do you like this? We're experimenting yeah, yeah, yeah. with something new. There's question one. I'm not going to report it, uh, repeat it again. Question two, also for one point. You can say this one later. All right. A croque monsieur is a hot sandwich made with ham and cheese, but what would you get if you ordered a croque madame? Ignore my spelling if it's wrong. I wrote it pretty quick. <laughs> so you it's can be as uh, you can write as, as much or as little as you want. You can answer that pretty quickly though. Next one. France is famous. Oh, this is hard. By the way, so a few people have been getting like almost 100%, so I tried to make these just a little bit trickier this time around. Uh, so they're getting harder now. France is famous for its cheeses and has dozens of varieties that are protected and regulated by French law. But which of the following... That feels very French, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's like 70 of them. We're all trying to learn something here too, you see. Yeah. Uh, but which of the following is not an official AOC cheese? AOC just means like nationally regulated. Comte, Osso Irati, Bergerac, Roquemador, or Celle sur Cher? Oh, that's tough. But it's still multiple choice, so it's not that tough. That is tough. 
Can I just press enter? How's it work? Oh, it's got too many letters. Dozens of varieties protected by law. There you go. You've got to write under 200 characters in a comment. See, I'm learning something too. Mm. I don't know, you maybe don't need to read them. I just figure there's some people that might like it. We'll experiment with it for a few rounds and see how it goes. All right, mm -hmm. do you want to do this one? Yes, please. So, question number three. The Boulevardier cocktail is composed of sweet vermouth, Campari, and what other key ingredient? ingredients? On the podcast, uh, Dave, yeah, it's got a few more ingredients, but there's one main other one. Chef David Leibovitz, who's just written a book about cocktails, recommended this uh, in a recent podcast with me. So once again, those who listen are rewarded. There's the question for your spelling. Uh, Corinne says it's a great idea. April Pet Tour Guide Extraordinaire says tomorrow is National Croque Monsieur Day. We really? Ha we have a tour guide playing. <sighs> uh -uh. April. April, will she be the new winner? I wonder. Yes, we have got all. Have we got all our um, champions playing? I don't know. I haven't really looked at the comments properly. Mm, Paul Greenley, I need an address for packages. The Peloton, the, everything's closed. Paul, you can't send anything anywhere. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, Catherine says, which cocktail? It's written. I literally wrote it. The Boulevardier. It's the comment above yours. Uh, and Christopher says, the written version increases my interest quite a bit. Very useful. Mm, that's good. Um, we're experimenting here. Yeah, hopefully if, it makes it smoother. You know what I say, Dana? What do you say? I this? say a quiz that's not uh, advancing or trying new things is dead in the water. Yes, that old saying. I keep getting the operation timed out. Any idea what that is? No. Nope. Okay, here we go. All right. I'll read this one. This is hardest, okay? Dining in Paris. The hit Disney movie Ratatouille is about a rat that, among other things, makes ratatouille. The dish, ratatouille, is a French Provençal stewed vegetable dish originating in Nice. But let's go back to the movie for a second. The movie is set in a fictional restaurant in Paris called Chez Remy, I believe. But what's the name of the famed Paris restaurant that inspired parts of the movie? Oh. The famed Paris restaurant that inspired parts of the movie. I'm going to put that in the thing. Uh, the name... Oh, it's very long. Dot, dot, dot. The, the hit Disney movie, Rattery. What's the name of the famed Paris that restaurant that inspired yeah. parts of the movie? There you go. That should make sense. Hopefully. So you guys, we're going to give you... See, usually we'd read through all the questions and spend five minutes on it, but now you've got them all, so we'll just give you a few minutes to answer, and I'm going to address Paul Greenlee's generosity for a second. Oh, look at that. Paul Greenlee has used the Super Chat function to send in $10, and that's very generous of you to do that. And I just want, like, in previous weeks, we've been talking, Lena and I, afterwards, you guys being uh, so kind and sending in Super Chats like that, and we didn't really know what to do with it. So we had a chat, and we thought... Uh, for this video, anyone that does that, we're going to spend that money on supporting the small businesses in Paris that are trying to stay open. You know, usually we get food from the supermarket or whatever. We'll order a takeaway or a coffee from, you know, the people who've been on the yeah. show. So if you're going to do that, Paul, let us know what to put the groceries with it. And yeah, we'll... if you have a, have a preference. Yeah, put a comment, Paul. And that way uh, we can, uh, everybody can be helping each other. Yeah. So there's a little idea. There are five points. We're going to go through the answers. Carla says, my dream restaurant. Mm. Hello, Carla. Thanks for watching. Hello. Cheers. Holly says she knows the answer to number five, thanks to me. That's unfair. That mean I've talked about it before? Really? Answers. Everything worth, <laughs> worth one point. Here we go. If the waiter asks you... No, if you ask the waiter for l'addition, you are asking for... The... The bill. bill. The bill. Nice and easy. Paul says, very kind of you. Do as you wish. I think we get coffee. I think we get specialty coffee. That sounds really good. We'll get it from a nearby coffee shop. Yes. Thanks, Paul. Mm. Uh, croque monsieur. This was your idea. <laughs> what is a croque madame? Yeah. It is like a croque monsieur, but with an egg on top. With an egg on top. So yes. all you need to say is with an egg. Plus and you an get... egg. Uh, meanwhile, Lynn. 
Great idea, support the locals. And Christine, love you too so much. Thanks oh, you guys, you're very you. generous. Uh, yes, we'll put all of this into back into the little community. Exactly, the Montmartre community yeah. as well. Did I hear Montmartre? That might be coming up later. Mm -hmm. uh, Jossie's asking, how do we send our answers? You don't, you just write it down. And it's an honesty game, believe it or not. So at the end of it, you tally up your scores and whoever wins gets the grand prize, which is... What is it this week? Good lord, I don't know what with me. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, Shall I get one? Yes, please, go I'll get, get it. One. I've written a book called Paris on Air and what we do is Lena does illustrations at Parisian Postcards. She illustrates in one, it's a one of a kind and uh, we'll send it out to you as a thank you for winning. I just got a text that I see on my uh, phone from Eddie saying I forgot about the quiz. Eddie, my brother, the reigning wooden spoon champion. That's the book. Yay, Eddie! Welcome. Eddie tunes in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, here we go. The quiz has really begun. Eddie, good news is everything's been written down so you can catch up with the points. That's also a good thing for mm. people who are coming in late. Mm -hmm. oh, excellent. It keeps getting better. Uh, <clears throat> ah, the cheese one. I think this was a bit a bit trickier. Um, France is famous for its cheeses. Which one is not an official AOC cheese? The answer was... Bergerac. What is that? It's just a place. Do you know what I did? I zoomed in on the map to a town. Mm -hmm. A random town that sounded like a cheese. And I picked it and I googled Bergerac fromage to see if it was actually a I cheese. Know, if it was something. And it wasn't. So if you put it's anything else, you're wrong. One point. Melinda says, yippee. Bergerac. Maria sends in 20. Thanks, oh, Maria. Oh, wow. And again, if you have sushi. something special. Oh, sushi. <laughs> I mean, sushi. Did you, did you make that up? Yeah. Maria <laughs> writes sushi. Okay. Uh, next question. Thanks, Maria. Reigning champion. It is a wine, yes. Uh, the Boulevardier is composed of vermouth, Campari, and it is whiskey. 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 <laughs> whiskey. Eddie was relying on his late points. Eddie, you missed three points. We will give you two. <laughs> uh, DJ Poser read the book. Mm. 40 pages through. Thank you. Finally, the restaurant with uh, that inspired Ratatouille was the Tour d'Argent. The Silver Tower, I guess. Yeah. The Silver Tower. Would we accept cognac, says David Smith? Nah. Would we? Uh, nah, I'm not going to accept cognac. I mean, it's two different cognac things, isn't is, it? Cognac is... No, 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 no. There's cognac and no, there's whiskey. No. Good try, David Very Smith. Good try. <laughs> good try. No, no, no. A point off, if yeah. anything. Bourbon. Isn't bourbon and whiskey no, I think pretty much say... the same thing? I think that's the same thing. I don't know about that. Otherwise, why do they have two words for it? No, no, no. Bourbon needs to be produced in America. It needs to be 51% corn. Whiskey does not. I needed whiskey. Ah, okay, whiskey it is. Whiskey is all I will accept. Sorry, guys, I tried. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> and, and Holly oh, says bourbon sad. is gross. So now we're out of five. Okay. Eddie, Eddie says brilliant film. The answer <laughs> was, uh, is Latour okay? I think so. That's just saying the tower. Yeah, but it's like... I, give you, I say half a, a point. Half. Okay, half. We agree no, on half. No shortcuts here. Uh, okay, cool. We're five in. And Maria says bourbon is not whiskey. Okay, definitely good then. April says, what about bourbon? No, 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 no. Fred Smizer, thank you for sending in 10 bucks. We will put that to whatever you choose. Five points. Some people on five, including Shelly. Ah! Friend of the show. Yeah. Narcoleptic, three out of five. Fun fact. Pretty good though. Fun fact. Yes. Narcoleptic is an anagram of Eric Clapton. Well, that is a sign of a misspent youth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so the scores are coming in. So for the people who are new here, uh, and I see we've got 183 people, so I assume we've got 183 people doing the quiz. That's a record. Wonderful, I love it's it. It's great. So what, we, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, go through all these five rounds. You add up the scores. Emil, I sent your book off a couple of days ago, two out of five. Time to switch on. Great. Um, but here a Swedish name pops up. I wanted to show something. We got a background today. Can you guys see? Uh, my own mother wrote in, said the background in your videos is so boring. Yeah. So, she was like, shame on you. Should we show Shoot. what we've got? Yes. ABBA. We found this at a thrift. Should I tell them where we found it? Sure. A thrift shop on the left bank. Yeah. 
On the left bank. On the left bank. Live in Australia, ABBA. March, look at this. March 3rd, typo. 3TH. It's my favorite thing about it. 1977, right. Sydney Showground. Mm -hmm. We also have a little picture of the Chat Noir. Oh, yeah. Can you see? I'm not sure because the light is super bright. And, and the third is a painting of a naked lady. And you did that, I think. I did that. Absolutely wow. Abba, says Maria. All right. So All right. Done we with love showing. Abba too. <laughs> we, yeah, we do. So now we're going on to a round called Montmartre. And remember how I told you a pub quiz that isn't evolving, isn't evolving, is dead in the water? Do you remember I said that? Yeah. yeah. So what Let's I figured would make things a little bit fun in this round was uh, I asked Lena to write a whole round where she tries to stump me. And I wrote a round to try and stump her. And that way we're playing as well. So Lena wrote this whole next round about Montmartre. You guys are in the dark as I am. Yes. Uh, so you, you Here can take we go, over. I guess. French Girl in Seattle has just tuned in. Oh, really? Hello. She says that's after they won the Eurovision contest with Waterloo. Yeah. That's, that's how they broke through. French Girl in Seattle, well worth a follow. Song. I watched her Instagram uh, live today, Aperu with Veru. Mm -hmm. Learned a lot. Aperu Give her a little follow Veru. on Instagram. Now, all right. Over to you, I'm reading the comments. Are you guys ready for my very own first solo section without Oliver? So. Are Dave? you ready? April says, I have David uh, leaving with his book and it says bourbon. Ah. The answer is whiskey in this one. Not David Leibovitz's version. <laughs> Never listen to Dave Leibovitz. <laughs> Carla's dad allegedly dated the brunette from ABBA. Annifrid? Really? Amazing. Okay, go on. Okay, go on with cool. the... So, question number one in the Montmartre uh, edition. How many windmills are there in Montmartre? How many big windmills? Yes. Not like little key rings. I don't really exactly. care about that. Exactly. They have to be big. <laughs> they have to be big enough to oh, be... Oh, I love it. Antonio. Uh, Antonio, welcome to the game. You've put an answer there, which is an incorrect answer. <gasps> Not only that, you've put a question, you put an answer in the comments field. That's forbidden. We don't do that here. No, Antonio. Can you take, can you uh, remove your comment or I block you? Prison. That's two. Mm -hmm. Two in prison. Oh, so, uh, he's sorry though. I'm glad you saw okay. that, Antonio. All right, Don't, good. I should write it in the caption of the video. I forgot yes. this week. All right. And look, everyone's saying, Jay, you're in jail, <laughs> Antonio, until uh, better behavior. <laughs> yeah. Shirley says he's, he's got to pay to get out. That's optional. Mm, optional. So that was also a question from last week's pub quiz. So if you watched, you got the answer. Exactly. Antonio it was a little, obviously little didn't freebie watch. last week. So if you watched, you know the question, the answer to question number one. And now moving on to question number two. What is the name of the cafe where Audrey Tattoo, Tattoo works in the film Amelie? And you mean the... So I haven't seen this. The first one was easy. That one, you mean the name of it today, where it was set, not the name in the movie, right? Yeah, today. Sorry. Yes. Easy. I thought these were meant to be getting harder. Trash talk. I'll write that. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, that was the gift question from last week. And where are you writing your answers? Oh, very easy we don't to have cheat a, that way. We, I'm uh, not so sure. French Girl in Seattle has written facile. And for all we know, that's a guess at the answer. Do we put her in jail? Or is she writing, nah. is she writing the French word for easy? I don't know. Nah, she's all right. Okay. Okay. Wow, the sky is so beautiful again. All right. It is. Okay, moving on. Yes. Where are we? Here. There. So question number three. Montmartre means mountain of the martyr. It's said to have got its name from the martyr Saint-Denis, who was killed on the hill of Montmartre. How did he die? So it's said to get its name from the martyr Saint Denis, who was killed on the hill of Montmartre. Yes. How did he die? That's easy. How did Monsieur Saint Denis die? Uh, Allegedly. I know that one. Cindy says, show us the sky. I don't know if it's that easy. Should we try? We can try. Uh, I don't know, because then we have to. I'll try. How about I take a picture and show the picture? Yeah, that's a good idea. We've got the camera. Uh, on a tripod on the chair. So I don't know if we can. Now, uh, I'll ask the next question. So Lena's just taking a picture of the sky and the Eiffel Tower in the background. Can I read your next one? Yes. What is the name of the painter who spent a good portion of his waking hours and probably sleeping hours? <laughs> 
uh, yeah. at the Moulin Rouge and made some of the most famous posters for the cabaret. Yes, I want the name of the artist. Okay. Easy. That's easy. Yeah, Were I you looking at me if I didn't know? Yeah, I don't I give, know. I give tours of Montmartre. <laughs> this is the sky. Can you see? Mmm. And a tiny, tiny little Eiffel Tower in the background. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, then you, uh, that would be a then new you're picture. you're missing out. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so <sighs> we have... What happened now? Ooh, Isabel. Isabel, Isabel, Isabel. Yeah, you can't write the, the answers in the comment section. Please, please remove that. Also, wrong answer. So, joke's on you, Isabel. Uh, that's three in prison. I'll say it again. Plus, don't copy people's answers because they're putting wrong ones twice in this round. Uh, you don't write the answer. It's, it seems so easy. Just don't do that. It's all just write it down with pen and paper and keep that for later on because we will check later on. Mm. If you mm. win, we'll... Check you. It's kind of like being in a pub quiz, right? And they go, How many windmills are there in Montmartre? And you go, <laughs> Next one. Exactly. All right. Uh, the last one. <laughs> I love the way you've written it. Yeah, I write mine with a little story. So, tucked away behind Place des Abbesses in Montmartre is a small park. In this park, there's a blue tiled wall with the phrase, I love you, written in loads of different languages. So what I want to know now is how many languages uh, are represented on the I love you wall. Now, I don't know the answer to this, but are you expecting an exact answer or a rounded I, answer I'm, or something? To the closest 50. Okay. How about that? To the closest 50. So not ab above or whatever. There's 150 that's closest to it. Yeah. So it could be 50. It could be 100. It could be 150. Okay. 200. 250. 300. Etc. I've got my answer. How many are represented? Carla says it's not fair I'm playing with April. And both of you guys were trying to convince me to change to bourbon. <laughs> so naughty. That's almost prison. Mm, almost. Okay. Um... Yes, oh, did I write that one tiles. down? I didn't write that one down. Uh, okay. I'll write it down so you guys can all see. Then we don't have to repeat it. Um, oh, it's a bit too... Uh, Just take away the first bit. There you go. We're all learning, we're all learning. Yeah. House party. All to right. the conciergerie, says Robin Roger. That's a new way of sending mm. someone to prison. We'll give you two minutes to write your answers. Yeah. And then we'll give you... Uh, the real the answers. answers. And in the meanwhile, we'll have some more of that uh, drink that shall be not named. Oh, it's all the same. Yep. Um, back to the first prize again because I got cut off because Eddie was texting me. Mm. I wrote a book. Paris on Air. You know what the... I mean, if you've watched this quiz before, you knew that I wrote the book, so that's not new. But what is new is I've been working on the audio book. And... Mama Sita is good. Mama Sita? Yeah, I don't get a lot of input these days. What, you know? In what? The book? No, from like words. What's oh, hip on the street? Oh, Mama Sita's probably hip. Yeah, it's probably hip. Um, oh. Yeah, I've been putting a lot of effort into that, and that's been released every day on patreon.com slash the earful tower. Here comes the answers. Oh, right. So, what had you guessed? Yeah, I'll say my answers. For the first one. And Let's then we'll see. times my score by six at the end, and that's my final score. Mm. Uh, okay, so how many windmills in Montmartre? Someone said two. What did you say? Three. It's three. There's the Moulin Rouge, and then there's those other two. I, yeah, I put that little brown one, and I put, I put the Moulin de Galette. Yeah, there's the yeah. Moulin de Galette that's and just the little up. brown one. Mm, and then there's one behind it. Actually... Free answer, everyone got that last... Uh, someone emailed me today, and they said... I don't know what made me think of this just then. They sent me, a, someone I don't know, yeah. a screenshot of Ashton Kutcher uh -huh. and said he could play you in a film. Bit weird. What do you think? <laughs> I just saw myself I and I was like, he looks a bit like Ashton Kutcher. I don't Kutcher. know what, what to say to that. The other one's called but the yeah, Mulao Hadi. That's, that's good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's Here we okay. go. Okay, so I got it right. Three? Yeah. Three. I keep Correct. getting that uh, warning. I think it's because I plugged something in wrong. 
Yeah, okay. we'll just ignore that. The Café Amélie Café. It is called, what did you say? Café de Deux Moulins. It's right! And it's not so far away from Rue here. Rue La Pique, the yeah. ca co coffee shop of the two windmills. Should be three windmills. Yeah. Which one did they forget? Probably... Don't the know. little brown one, probably. <laughs> um, okay, so that was that. And then we have the answer to the next one. The Mountain of the Martyr, Saint-Denis. So how was Saint-Denis allegedly killed? <laughs> yes! He was uh, decapitated. He, I think, yeah, the, I think the allegedly bit was that he allegedly carried his head to Saint Denis, where they built the basilica. Yeah. French girl in Seattle probably knows, but decapitated is decapitated. what I heard. Decapitated. There you go. There's an extra point. Mm -hmm. Two points left. I can't believe you got all so far. Ah, <sighs> that's annoying. The name of the painter. Yes. Who. Um, who made the posters for Moulin Rouge? Spent a lot of time there back in the day. Yeah, so someone uh, who is in prison in the Bastille right now, uh, Isabel was her name, I believe, she wrote Lautrec, referring to Toulouse-Lautrec, and I said, that's wrong. That Guess what? Fake. That is right, and that's what I put in my head. Okay, you put that in your head. Yeah. Well, I trust your head. Is it correct? It is correct. So if you thought to copy her, or if you... whatever. That Not was my good way for of... you, I guess, because you were right. I figured that's one way of keeping us all guessing. Yeah. Oh, this last one I had no idea. Yeah, so this one is hard. I basically wanted no one to, to be able to get this one. So, uh, the amount of languages that are represented on the I okay. Love You wall. So, I'll tell you my guess, and then, remember no Googling, then you guys can all tell us your guess, and see if, uh, uh, who got it right. Mm. So, I guessed, uh, my guess is 400 languages. 400 languages. Well, it's actually 250 languages, uh, but the phrase is written uh, 311 times. So the answer is 250? 250. You didn't give him a chance to write it. Yeah, that's sorry prison. about that. <laughs> that's prison for the warden. You can write it now if you want. Okay. So this keeps saying the operation timed out. Do you have any idea? No. It looks like it's iTunes. Ah, you're right. Quit. Yeah. What are your scores out of 10, everybody? Yeah, how are you doing? Claudine and Maria got 250. Oh! The two reigning champs. Yes, 250, okay, well, good. What's everyone on? Is anyone out of 10? Elizabeth Fraser says Moulin Rouge is in Pigalle, not Montmartre. There doesn't matter. It's technically in Montmartre over the thing, but we gave it as a freebie and we said that was the answer last week. You were there last week. Uh, Christine G said, I said 300, so I get a point. No. You have to say 250 to get a point. Correct? Yeah. There's, it's written 311 times because I think what you mean is they've written it this in... I, they've written some twice. Mm. Exactly. So you needed 250. There was no other correct answer. Yeah. 250. If you put 220, you also... No, no, no. To the nearest 50. News 50? You have to say, you, have, you say, you have to say yeah. 50, 100, 150, yeah. 200. Okay, yeah, that's how it works. If you didn't write Good. 250, you no didn't point. get it. Uh, dup, 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 dup. All right. Mm hmm. Oh, I see what I see what you mean. You tried to guess within 50. So even if you said 300, you were still 50 off. So you were wrong. Mm. How about that? How about that? Within 50 was the questie. Okay, well, you wrote the question, oh, so you can explain. Okay, that was hard. Because how I formulated it was not that. I just wrote how many languages are represented on the I love you wall. Okay, well, we'll be kind then. If, okay. you, wrote, All right. if you wrote any number between 200 and 300, you can have a point. But for future reference... It has to be spot on. Yeah. Okay, okay. bad question. Sorry. Alexandra... Uh, Snelders missed the first five questions, but she's on four out of ten. So, uh, whoever writes this first for Alexandra, how many bonus points she gets is what we'll give her. Quick, quick, how many does she deserve? She missed five questions. Five? Does Jackie Williams mean five? I don't know. Two, six, Two, three. Six, three. I don't know if one, zero, oh. I'm giving you three. Yeah. Everyone's being too different. Nice and easy. Um, people are asking about the bourbon and the whiskey still. 
Oh, okay. They're not the same, apparently. Why would, why would two different ones exist? Why wouldn't they just call it a whiskey? I think they're different. So I'm not going to retract on that one. Here we go. Um, hang on. Judy Solanke is late. Judy, play. You missed 10 questions. Yeah, you've got, uh, you got six and a half points. You're in. You're welcome. Now listen, the next round is written by Bone Shaker Donuts. That's right. Amanda. So a little backstory. I'm going to put a link to her stuff. Friend of the show. There you go. Perfect. I'm just reading the bourbon and whiskey chat. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not going to retract on it. Oh. Bourbon whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Gosh, do we give him a point? Oh. We'll come back to it. Um, we'll think about it. So Amanda from Bone Shaker Donuts, I sent her a message and I said, um, I said, Amanda, do you mind writing a, a section called At the French Bakery? And she said, I'd love to do it. I love pub quizzes. And I said, well, I love your donut shop. And I said, can we promote that you're opening soon or whatever? She says, we don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. We're a small business. The best thing people could do is give us a little like on Instagram. Uh, so I put the, uh, there you go. I put it again while people keep talking about bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, give her a little like, say hello. And she's written, you know, she, she trained as a baker. Yeah. As a patissier, I think. And she wrote them and I said, just so you know, go from criminally easy to criminally difficult. And that's what she's done. Five questions from Bone Shaker Donut. Here we go. Uh, people say I was too generous to Judith Slanky, but Judith's been listening to the Eiffel Tower for about three years, so I can be bought too. Question number one. In a boulangerie, what is the umbrella? We will. I will give David a call. No one talk about bourbon and whiskey anymore. I'm going to call bourbon and we'll ask it's him. It's prison. Okay? Otherwise, everyone goes, prison drop for it, now. drop it, drop it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a call live and we'll see what happens, okay? Now we drop it until then. In a boulangerie, what is the umbrella term for breakfast pastries like croissants, pan au raisin, and chausson aux pommes? What is the umbrella term? Mm. You can put it in the comments. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah. One more comment about bourbon and whiskey and uh, you go to jail. <laughs> that is question one. From Amanda Boneshaker. French girl, that is so close to cheating, actually. That's prison. That's prison. Mm. That's temporary prison. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that is... Unless you're saying your name for Veronique. Uh, question two. It was the easiest one. Mm. It Stop is. talking about the burp. <laughs> Just don't look at it. We move on. I'm calling David. No, oh, no, no, no. my phone's up there. Yeah. Uh, what? Aaron Dismont <laughs> is... What well, arrondissement is home to Paris's oldest pastry shop, which is called Storer. 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 Storer? And then she wrote in brackets, and is also home to Bone Shaker Donuts. See what she did there? I see what you did yeah, there. Yeah, I like it. Good. That's very good. <laughs> she did a little, but that's fair enough. It is. It's right. It's probably 200 meters away. And I've talked about both of them on the show at great length. What arrondissement? You've got a 1 in 20 chance of guessing it, if you don't know. The French girl is drunk, so we block her. <laughs> I was very nice in your life chat, Vero. None of this drunken hooliganism. <laughs> Question 3. Oh, I'll write that in there, too. Okay. Yeah, That's this question is good. 2. Yeah. Question 3. What? Do you want to do this one? Sure. What is the name of the traditional French wedding cake composed of a tall cone of profiteroles bonded with threads of caramel? There it is if you want to read it. Yes. See, they're all, they're all on theme, huh? Mm-hmm. It's good. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. There you go. These are good, good questions. Oh, tiny. Thank you. Oh, it's that delicious branded drink. Yep. Uh, question four. What? Uh, this was really hard. Mm -hmm. When I told her to get, uh, when I told her to get progressively difficult, she she went for Amanda, it. Amanda, if you're watching, are you watching? 
Um, she really went for it. Ah, the Mac's going to die. Can you grab the thing? Mm -hmm. The question is, and to get one point, you need to get all three of these. She did mention it on my show, though. Uh, what are the three flavors you'll find in Pierre Hermes' iconic Ispahan pastries? That is so tricky. That is really, that's way too hard. It's super but, hard. But, you know, like, so many people are getting top scores. This is a way to separate top scores from each other. If anyone gets that, it's almost worth bonus points. Yeah, almost. Like, it's almost worth two points. But it's not. You get one point. Yeah, sorry. And then, uh, I wonder if uh, the, the tour guides watching are getting that one. I wonder if one of the flavors is bourbon. Maybe whiskey. I can't believe you went there. <laughs> Hilary loves your outfit. Thank you. What city did you get that top from, by the way? This, uh, I got in Stockholm, actually. Would that be Stockholm, Sweden? Stockholm, Sweden. Hmm. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I thought we needed some glam today. Why not? Okay, here we go. Uh, Stockholm. Number, <laughs> number five. This is quite hard. <laughs> Dinka says bourbon is the new Rihanna. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Uh, this is hard. Blame yeah. Amanda, but don't stop buying her donuts. Number five. Who is the French patron saint of pastry chefs? What? Clue. I didn't know there was one. <laughs> Clue. He has a classic choux puff dessert named after him. I wrote it down. This is so good you'll lose your head over it. Talking about saints. Patron. People say that one's too easy. This doesn't what? make sense. Do you know? I'd say uh, uh, we'll give you the answers in a second, and I'll give you guys a, an idea of why it's very hard to write a pub quiz like this, because it's so hard. Constantly going through my head is like people like my people like my own mother, who I know likes watching it, probably because we're in it. People like Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Sorry, no. but people who kind of like the show and maybe aren't experts, I think they will never know the those last two. They haven't got a chance ever. But then I think they won't want to play if they're all too hard. And then I think we got people like Maria and Claudine and April and Vero yeah. who get everything. So you got to try and find this mix. That's why I do it progressively harder. Um, it is tricky. It's it, a whole. It's hard. It's hard. Whole skill. Answers. Yeah. What is the word for uh, the umbrella term for all the breakfast pastries? The answer is viennoiserie. Viennoiserie. And I see we have some watchers from Sweden! Hello, really? Bellman's Garden! Oh, you'll like that, Abba! Look at that! And I got my top in Sweden. In Stockholm, even. In Stockholm, Sweden. Alexandra says, this was a good topic. Yes. Thanks to Amanda. A delicious one, one might say. Uh, the second one, what arrondissement is home to Paris's oldest pastry shop? The answer was the... Second. Second and Second. One. We would accept deuxième. Mm -hmm. Or two. Two is fine. Yep. Uh, Three though, not so much. Not the closest two, just two. Francois, a French person, says great pronunciation of viennoiserie. And then oh. French girl says viennoiserie. Viennoiserie. I think... And David hits the nail on the head. We learn so much from this quiz. That is the main oh, point. Uh, and I hope you're having fun oh, because yeah, that point. is actually the main oh, point. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the main point. Yeah, that's the main yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> and that, like, like one person, like buys my book in the middle. That's of it. a bonus. That's yeah. a bonus. Yeah. Uh, what bonus. is the name of the uh, French wedding cake, Lena? It is croquembouche. So it's all these like. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we actually had one at our wedding, thanks to my friend Eileen, who, who I think is, is watching. amazing is at baking. Watching? Well, Eileen, if you're watching this, it was beautiful. I put a link so you can buy a copy of my book while we're talking. Uh, Just like Jody that. Beam, it was hard for me, but I learned a lot. Good. Next question was so, Croc and Bush, if you've never heard of it before. Eileen is watching. There you go, Eileen. And it was a delightful cake. Yes. It's spelled like that. Croc, croc and bouche. Croc bouche and means bouche. mouth, croc means uh, like Taste. bite or something? Taste? I think. Okay, next one. Who got this right? Uh, this time, this is one of the rare times you guys can write the answer. Who got the three flavors in the iconic pastries? Let's see. Let's, let's see who got it. Yeah, this is very hard. 
Whoever writes it first, we know that you knew. Shelly, that should count, right, Ollie? Peace, Mont. Peace, Monty. Uh, we got Rose, Raspberry, and Lychee. Correct, <gasps> Melinda. Melinda. A reigning champ. Quite a connoisseur. Everyone can guess. Yeah, what did you guess, guys? Joel or Joel says chocolate pistachio almond. Rose, lychee, and raspberry says April. No bourbon. Carla just writes lychee. No points. You get a <laughs> third of a point. <laughs> Peace Monte. I'll look it up. Okay, Peace. Can you read out some of the other ones? Yep. Salted caramel, raspberry. We will accept lemon. Peace Monte, shall we? Yep. Looks exactly like the same thing. All right, well, I think a rose water pistachio. We got some good ones. Paul's comment has been held for review because it has a swear word in it. Reminder, if you swear, it will not come up. <laughs> um, Judy Slanky sent in $10. Oh, and as I said at the start, you. anyone that uses that little dollar sign function, we're going to push that money back into supporting small businesses mm -hmm. by buying, I don't know. Well, we get like coffee beans from a local coffee shop. Is that what we'll do with that one? We'll do... More coffee? Well, we maybe we'll get beer from a brewery instead of supermarket. That's a really good idea. I That's like a nice it. idea. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Okay, uh, the French patron saint of uh, pastry chefs was Saint Honoré. Honoré. Saint Honoré. I had no idea. That is hard too. That is a tricky one. <laughs> There's a street, a really nice street in the first arrondissement. Um, yeah. Called the same thing. So there you go. Who? Uh, there's five points for you. Who got five? Who? I know you're out of fifteen. So add your scores up. I'm gonna make sure my phone's plugged in. How do I find out while it's on? I don't know Maybe if there's a way to do it. it. Should we risk it? It might pause for a sec. Okay, pause for a sec. Okay. Um, I'm gonna change the thing. Keep telling your scores. Keep chatting with them later. All right. So we have a fifteen out of fifteen. Maria, are you killing it again? Incredible. Yeah, she's thirteen. What the, okay, yeah, minus two. Yeah, she said that. That is amazing. We have eight, we have a nine, 11, five, we have 12 from Alexandra, seven, 10. These are good scores. I thought we made it harder. 12, Shelly's on 13 as well. Yep, up there. Shelly With... cheats. <laughs> I oh, doubt it. Okay. Okay. Cool. These minuses are killing Maria. Yeah, I know. Meanwhile, it sucks. I'm gonna text Dave Leibovitz, okay? Uh huh. While we're talking via the computer, um, I am running. While you're putting your scores in, a live quiz, and I asked about the third ingredient to a boulevardier. Yep. Yeah. Everyone, I oh know. My answer was whiskey. Everyone. Claiming you say bourbon. Do I give them a point? Question funny. mark. And now I write in brackets urgent. And also Piers. I'm live now. Piers. 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 Love your show. Piers <laughs> love. I don't know. <laughs> love your work. Okay. Okay, great. Is that definitely uneven, isn't it? Since yeah. I plugged in. Okay, okay, here we go. Perfect. Back in the room. What did I miss? We are... Well, we finished the, uh, the bone shake round, the, the donut round. So, uh, do you guys remember at the very start of the show, I held up a bottle of something? Do you remember when I showed you the name of it? Mm -hmm. I held it up and I was like, oh, what's this? Do you guys remember the name? Don't care, doesn't matter. <laughs> that was a fakie, that was nothing, <laughs> ignore that. But there are some bonus points coming up. Neil, don't care. Don't yeah, care. It doesn't matter. Uh, I was just trying to make people watch carefully. <laughs> because in other rounds, they would be bonus points. But there are already bonus points that you guys might have missed. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Did anyone write down um, Mionetto? Yeah, someone did. Julie wrote it down. Did anyone write Mionetto? <laughs> don't care. It's all right. Here we go. But good job though. Very, um, what do you call it? Oof, my son. Uh, like paying attention. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, Heidi wrote it down, Shelly wrote it down. You guys trying to catch us. It's not gonna happen <laughs> like that. You can't write it down, you have to pay attention. Now here's a fun story. We're on uh, 15 points so far. I got an email. Uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, emails 
Observant, yes, is the word Observant, for paying attention. Observant, yes, thank you. Do you, you. speak Swedish, Melinda? Ah. Uh, Elizabeth notes, I don't have a tie this week, but did I have a tie at the beginning? Oh. Did he? Can't remember. Or not. So, just so you guys know, about this pub quiz and uh, the book and everything, never been getting so many emails as right now. Can't respond very well to them all. Mm. Um, but one of the ones about this pub quiz was exceptionally good and... Uh, uh, it's from Eileen Babbitt, mm -hmm. who's probably watching. Are you watching? She said she doesn't comment very much, but she says she loves the quiz and wanted oh. to send in a section in case I had writer's block. So, uh... That's so kind. I didn't have writer's block. I didn't even start it at that point. But I was like, the questions are good and I'm going to use them. This topic from Eileen, is she watching? Did she say hello? No, I couldn't see any. She said she doesn't comment, so... So we wouldn't even know if she is watching. And Paul's has nice earrings. Yeah, that was last week's little... Yeah. Little extra point. Funny that you say that, Paul. What uh, what uh, was the name of the shop you got those earrings? <laughs> what was the name of the shop? For that one? Where about? Those well, there. it was in... P well, here. Yeah. This one I actually designed myself. Self-designed. Yeah. From a, this for a Swedish brand. <laughs> this section is called French Cinema, which has also been by popular demand. And uh, food has also been by popular demand. That's why I doubled up on it this week. Lucy Sansom says, click like. She's exactly right. Click like. Just hit that Just hit the like. like oh, yeah. Button. I'm so glad I remember that. Subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. We went over 5,000. That, if anything, is worth... 5,000 subscribers. Toast, don't you think? I want to say thank you to all you who have subscribed. If you haven't, do it now. And we'll try and do some cool stuff. Well, we're already doing cool stuff. We'll do more. We'll do more. Keep you entertained. Here we go. French cinema. If you've just tuned in, do not write the answer in the comments. I might uh, have to close this. Lena is closing the window. Here we go. Joseph de Premio has just tuned in. He's missed 15 points. Whoever writes the first amount of points we give him, be reasonable is what, what he gets. I don't, I don't even care. This time, someone write it. Five. Oh. Tough. Joseph, you're on five. Here we go. Question one. This French film won... Someone's ordered. Oh, great. Look at that. Hey! Thanks, David. Thanks for ordering a copy of the book. Um, this French film won the Palm d'Or for short films at the Cannes Film Festival in 1956. Starting easy, getting harder. It follows a young boy through the streets of Menilmonton while he's carrying a balloon that's so prominent the whole movie is named after it. Mm -hmm. What colour? I sort of changed this to write it in my voice, so Eileen doesn't have the exact same voice as me. Well, fair enough. Uh, that what, would be weird. What colour? Multiple choice here. What colour is that balloon? Is it A, red? Is it B? <laughs> oh. Joseph. Joseph, you've watched one of these quizzes before we just gave you points. Oh, Joseph. No, oh, no, 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 no. It gets no. me so, so down. Okay, well, it's I guess a... last week was impeccable. No one wrote anything. Now we have four people in jail. Oh, it's getting crowded. Including Joseph. Crowded jail. Uh, okay, but anyway, he's probably wrong. So far, everyone's got it on, this, on the easy question. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make it even more easier now. I'm making it even more easier. What colour is that balloon? Is it A, red? Is it B, octopus blue? Or C, it's not a balloon. It's a copy of Oliver's new memoir, uh, Paris on Air, that he was carrying. A, B or C? Eileen's watching. Hello, Eileen. Someone's already cheated on your questions. <laughs> what can we do? So is it, is it red? Is it octopus blue? And, uh, or is it a copy of my memoir? C close the live chat on iPhone and then click like and then restart. Voila. Do if I do that, Ron, does that mean people can't comment afterwards? Or is it just for a section? Anyway, anyone who's really fed up with it, just don't look at the comments for while I'm reading them. So what color is the balloon? Number two. This 2003 animated film centered around international intrigue while training for the Tour de France. It was nominated for the Oscars for Best Song, Best Animated Feature. The film was called The Triplets of A. Bastille, B. Belleville, C. 
that in your all. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks, Shelley. Okay, thanks. I'm with you. Uh, okay. These are good for, for movie buffs. There you go, I can copy that one in. Yeah. Barb asks, is that a blue ringed octopus? Did we get an apology from uh, Joseph? Oh, no, no, you just put it onto low power mode. Oh. I don't know if that's good. Oh, I don't know if we I can think change it's fine. it. Okay, why is it not charging? Mystery. Okay, um, question three. Do you want to do this one? It's another multiple choice. The last. <laughs> yes, octopus blue is definitely a real color. I'd say. Do that, I'm gonna switch the light on. Shall I go for the yeah, red one? Multiple choice one. Okay. So, question number three. In 1968, sci-fi slash adventure film Barbarella was directed by Roger Vadim and starred his wife Jane Fonda. Who else was Roger Vadim married to? So, A, Brigitte Bardot. How about that? B, oh yeah. That works? I think so. It's cool. quite bright, but yeah, why not? B, uh, Jane Birkin. Or C, Carla Bruni. And I think we can put that in in the comment section. So you got it. Can you do that? I can, I can. Okay, good. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. If you did print out that, um, uh, what did I call it? The score sheet? Mm hmm if you did print out the score sheet and you finish it, no matter what your score, send it in because I think that's really cool. Oh, we're really bright now. I wonder why that didn't plug in. Okay, um, question four. No more multi-choices. That's it for now. It is the movie Chocolat, or chocolate in English, starred Johnny Depp. We all remember that film, don't we? Sure do. But what was the lead French actress? What is her name? The lead actress. I'll tell you, when I read this, uh, Eileen, I couldn't remember her name. Yeah, me neither. I think I said the wrong one. Actually... I'll copy so that in. That's question four. Both. April Pet, dangerously, dangerously close to giving a clue. <laughs> April. Not really. Uh, French Fiancé, I actually played in that movie. Were you actually in that movie? Really? Were you actually a peasant woman, French girl, or are you just joking? Because if you were, that's a story that needs to be told yes, right now. that is funny. Uh, oh, but she'd also said that she was drunk. Yeah, anything could be true okay. by this point. So, in this last one, Eileen's question, I totally changed the direction of it because I, f I felt like I had a better one. But, uh, <laughs> but, but I... I, I but it inspired. Yeah, it was inspired, it inspired by it. And I made it harder because it's for worth it. It's the last one. Here we go. In, please don't write the answers, folks. Uh, in the 1960 film Breathless, or in French, A bout de souffle, A bout de souffle, one of the most, uh, which was one of the most influential examples of French new wave cinema. It was directed by Jean-Luc Godard, but, and this is where I took over, in one of the opening scenes, Gene Seberg, is wearing a t-shirt emblazoned with the name of a newspaper. Mm. Which newspaper? You can guess. No one write it. No one write it. Just guess it on your paper. Okay? I love that shirt. I actually saw that you can buy that shirt. Do you remember? I mm -hmm. showed you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you share it on Instagram or something? I think I did. A while back. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm not going to write it. I'll write the film name because it's a very long question. Breathless, I was sort of, which newspaper on the shirt? And the reason I'm writing them is so that I don't have to uh, reread them all. Yeah. Efficiency. Efficiency. Yes. Here we go. Uh, good. April has no idea. That was maybe ah. one of the hardest ones. What, what did we say? What? Hmm? What did you say that for? Well, that April doesn't know. That's great. All right. All right. Great for us. Great for other players. Time for some answers. 
Uh, do, do. Question one. What color was the balloon? Was it red? Was it octopus? Or was it a book by Oliver? And I've got a text from Dave Leibovitz. We'll get back to that in a second. Okay. Uh, what was the color of the balloon? It was... Red. It was red. It was red. Yeah, it was. Listen to listen to Joseph, everyone. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> he wrote it again. <laughs> Joseph, come on, Joseph. You know how it works. Okay, red is the answer for a point. Uh, Vera wants to hear about the peasant woman. How's this for an idea? I've got a really good idea. Uh, I'm going to call her and get her on either the very next podcast or the next That's one. Because I have two ideas for podcasts. One is I call past guests on the show and I go... Hey, what's your part of the town like now? Mm -hmm. I've already done a couple of them. And I'll call Vera. I'll be like, hey, what's your part of the town like? Is it all busy or empty? We know the answer, but we can hear yeah, about it. Yeah. And I'll say, by the way, were you really a peasant woman? And we'll tell the story then. Subscribe to the podcast. I really hope she was. That would be cool. Section four, question two. The movie was called The Triplets of... Belleville. Belleville. Yes. Which, if you have been listening to the audiobook that I've been uh, doing, have we put that bit out? Yeah. I don't know. So, so just uh, yesterday I released the chapter where I, where I woo Lena and I talk about the pronunciation of the word Belleville. Do you remember this? Yeah. And in French it sounds so lovely and romantic. Belleville. But when Belleville. I say it in my Swedish accent, it's um, less charming. I said it sounds like an ABBA song. Yeah. Belleville. 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 And that's what's fun about the audiobook is you can yeah. hear that stuff. Now, next bit, uh, who was Roger Vadim or Vadim, Roger Vadim, who was he married to? The answer is... Brigitte Bardot. That should be easy because I actually mentioned that you in the did. Who Am I section of last week's That's quiz, That's how I, I knew it, That's actually. how I knew it, too. Yeah. I would have no idea. Nope. Brigitte Bardot would have accepted BB. BB. Or Brigitte. Vadim. 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 Vadim? That doesn't help. She's drunk. The movie Chocolat starred Johnny Depp and which French actress it was? Who wrote Marion Cotillard? No, it it's was... Juliette Brioche. <laughs> Juliette Binoche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carl Binoche. Bruno is too young and she was married to Sarkozy, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sarkozy. All right. People are getting it. The last one. Yeah, this is this is the one time I want to see you write the answer. Who got the, the newspaper? Yes. What did, you, well, what did you guess? Even if you don't think you got it, I want to oh, see. It's such an iconic scene. When Go she on, goes then. around and she's selling it. French girl says, French girl guesses the Herald Tribune. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Jackie guesses Le Monde, Le Figaro. The Herald Tribune, a few people are guessing that. Uh... And when Maria Transato guesses it, you know that there's... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Bellman Gordon says, Molson? Question mark. <laughs> there's an in-joke if I've ever seen one. It's <laughs> funny. Uh, Le Monde, Herald Tribune. The answer is, uh, you're all wrong. It's the Herald Tribune. It's a French magazine. No. New York Herald Tribune. That's what she, like, she walks down. Yep. I think it's Chance to see, I'm not sure. Selling, flogging off these... That's right. This newspaper. So to get a point, you need either New York Herald Tribune yeah. or just Herald Tribune, but I will not accept New York or New York Time or any of the other ones. So the people who are, who are typically leading, were they a little bit quiet besides Maria then? April Peck guessed New York Times, no sir, ah. no ma'am. <laughs> Melinda, previous winner, right? Figaro, oh, I love it. I wish we could have it so the previous winners come up in red like little, so I could see it quicker. Yeah, or like a little crown. 20 points so far. Dinke is winning with 15 as far as I can see so far. How is it going for Belmont's garden, I wonder? Oh, we have a 16 from Shelly Francisco. Shelley, Wine girl travels on 15. Okay, great, great, great. This is good. Nan, 16, 13. Lisa W, that's why you have to come in late. I thought it started at noon. Uh, it's, you click on the YouTube link and there's a reminder saying what time it starts. Easy. Always the same time. 8 p.m. 8 and loving it, says Frank Cheatham. <laughs> Frank, good. how you doing, mate? Well, good, good, good. good, good, good. Can't really chat. Back I know, it's, it's a little bit odd. Email is on 1420 after a slow start. Well, I think that's good. Bellman's Gordon was late. 
Oh, what's your excuse, Belmont oh. Gordon? Okay, Have so I... should we do? Should we give Belmont Gordon some points? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, some sympathy points. Yeah. How many for Belmont Gordon? Yeah. Does anyone? Whoever writes it first gets it. Yeah. Although being late again, Clovis is on thirteen. Jackie ten. gives ten. You're on ten points, okay. Belmont. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's saying ten. Great. Belmont Gordon, ten. Now I'm gonna uh, whatever David Leibovitz uh, texted me back is gospel, which doesn't really make sense to do it like that, but he did give me the inspiration. Well, yeah, it's fair enough. Okay, David Leibovitz. This is straight from the horse's mouth. He texts me, "Hey Oliver, love the show." <laughs> I I had that. <laughs> he said, "Whiskey or bourbon, either are acceptable. It's a matter of taste." Well, you heard it from... Can you say the horse's mouth? That sounds uh, very rude. No, we say that in English. It's okay. okay. Well, you so, heard it there. So, David overrules. He's got a much uh, superior knowledge of this stuff. If you wrote bourbon back in question whatever, four, uh, you get um, a point. Yeah. Bourbon or whiskey. All right. You win. And that is okay. absolutely the last word on it. Uh, Jody says, is Eddie okay? He's been kind of quiet. I don't know. Mm, yeah, I, I think, think he's all he, right. Maybe he just tunes in every now and again. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? I saw something that I want to com uh, comment on. Not sure what, not sure what. So we're up to, what are we, out of 20? Have we gone up to 20 points now? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's out of 20. Okay, that's good. Time for our first bonus point. The first bonus point is, you might remember that over my shoulder is an ABBA picture. Do you remember that? We talked about ABBA, remember that? Mm -hmm. was fun. Yeah. And now I'm sitting in front of the details at the bottom. I'm being very clear now, do not write this in the comments field. For a point, for one point, what city in the world is this from? Not Don't write it in the comment. City. Don't even look at the comments, everyone. Write down on your paper what city were they playing in where this is from. You have exactly 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10. Mm -hmm. 13, 12, 11. Yeah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, like 5, 4, Did you write it? 3, 2, 1. Pencils down. All right. Now, right. for a point, right. Right. pens down, just guess a city. Uh, you can write it. Who, ge who guessed it? Put your guesses in. I want to see. We'll let that go for 10 seconds. Marianne, Marianne. guesses Sydney. So Sydney. does Francois. Oh, we got Sydney. We got loads. New York City, New York. Sydney. Sydney, 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 Sydney. There's the clue. Aye. All right. Yep, this is good. Sydney. That's worth Aye. a point. Oh, you guys who guessed wrong. Uh, well, Michelle, Australia is not a city. Lisa guessed Stockholm. I think we threw a few um, yeah, confusing we ones in about, there. We were talking about Stockholm yes, a little bit. In, just to trick you. Okay. David Guy says Perth. Christine mm -hmm. says 1977. Not a city. Here we go. Now we've got a brand new round. Never oh, done before. Yes. And now... I ask of you to be as creative as possible. Are you ready? What on earth does that mean? I want to just do a little bit of talking work before you uh, put your thing in. Uh, this is a brand new round. This is replacing the Who Am I round this week. And I'm going to put a link to your um, Instagram. Okay. Because Lena is on Instagram. There you go. <clears throat> Yes. And if you follow her, you'll see her daily. She was the guest of the podcast this very week. Yeah, that was me. While, that was I've, fun. while I've just tuned in, by the way, and before you get started, I've just tuned into Instagram to share that link. Yep. Carl Beam wrote Bergerac. <laughs> this is a really good chance to take a screenshot and share it with your friends on uh, Instagram. So we're going to do that with Abra okay. in the middle. Oh, yes. Does that look good? Do you want to take a little screenshot? I'll share it on Instagram. There you go. Share it with 8,000 people. Put a funny thing. Here we go. No, let's do something different this week. 
Oh, uh... <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Alright, that's good enough. Because otherwise, people have been sharing it when we're like... Yeah, I know. You can share now if you want. <laughs> this is a new round called... Uh, well, you haven't named it. Oh, this is called... The Rorschach. The Rorschach? Yes. I love it's, it. It's uh, not actually really the Rorschach, but... I think bonus points if you can spell Rorschach. It's kind of... I don't know, I just thought of it. Cool. Never mind. Talk us through it before you start. So, uh, how this will work is that I will hold up a cut-out silhouette. Uh, it's just blank. And that silhouette is supposed to be a famous piece of art. So, I will ask you Rorschach. either... Either who the, the artist who painted slash sculpted this thing was called or the name of the of the piece. I feel like I have to say something and it, it pains me to have to say it but before yes. you start because okay. you put so much effort into this. I did. I did a lot of cutting. Everyone at home knows what I'm going to say but cutting. if you've just tuned in, don't write answers in the comment field. Good. Okay. okay. Just write them on paper. It's much more fun. All right. Let's see. And here we go. I want to know, for this piece I'm holding up, I want to know the name of it. And you can write it in English or French or, well, Swedish, I guess. The uh, name of, I what is it? What do you what do I have to write? The oh. name of the this piece. Okay. That's Let's a good see. screenshot. Shit. Oh, that's war. I want a screenshot. Hang on, I'm going to screenshot myself. So you got that? Wait, 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 wait. Don't write it in the comments, just write it on your paper. Hold it up again. I think I got it, okay. Oh, we have someone who, um, not playing by the rules. Is someone guessing? So do not. That's impossible. Yes. It's impossible. Please no, that's do not No, do no, that. it's impossible that someone did that. It's impossible. It's impossible that someone has just done that. <laughs> Delete I can, the comment, I can't please. even, I can't even. Okay, I'm oh, going to get upset. Very, he gets very upset. So please do, <laughs> delete that comment and uh, no writing in the comment no, section. No, from now on I'm, I'm banning people. Just zero writing. Okay. Who did it? Why well, am I going to find them, ban them? There you go, the pink. Hide user. That's it. That was their last comment. Now that's that it. It was on the this the first one, the simple one. It's always been on the first one. It. Think how long it took you to cut out. It just took you an hour each, an hour each to cut them out. Not quite. But okay, moving on. So I would like to know the name of this art piece. I'm not gonna say statue or painting, but it's one of the two. And I want the name. You know what? Uh, just on a slightly serious note, if people keep putting their answers, it's going to have to make me rethink the whole way we do the quiz. Yeah. Which is boring because I love the comments and the interaction. I know. I think it's really fun. Oh. Maria says, Lena, this is very easy. Maria, if you get the fifth one. Okay. What did they have to do for that one? That last one? Was it? The, the name of it. Mm -hmm. And here? Okay. The name of this piece of art, please. This is an interesting one. It kind of looks like a mountain. What do you think? I think it's definitely a mountain. I'm writing mountain down. Mountain. Okay. Solange? Solange loves these quizzes. Great section. Tell your friends. We got yeah. 190 people watching. I was hoping for 200 this week. I know. We, we got were... 250 for a while. We did. And then everyone left. I don't know what happened. <laughs> they didn't mean to come. <laughs> okay. So for the fourth one, I would like to know the artist connected with this. That's, that's Rorschach himself. I don't know, it's a little Rorschachy, like a little bit. We found this really hard to know whether people would get it or oh. not. And here's, here's the thing, I texted... It's fun, you know, text, it's a new thing. I texted a whole group of friends, I said, anyone want to call me so I can just run a quote, pub quiz round past you? No one called. <laughs> My friends. Oh, I didn't so even sad. understand. There was like 10 people in that group. Yeah. 
All right. Okay. For the final one, I would like to know the name of the artist. This one is tricky. Mm. Did you get this? I would write uh, John Merrick, the Elephant Man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'd write. No hint, though. Two of, right. two of, two of our friends are watching Clovis and Shelley. They said that they, they were, were going to play. They were going to play. Okay, you are being kind, I guess. So, Come that on, was Holly, that... if we called you, though, then you would know the answers. That's the thing. Uh, yeah. And jo everyone loves this realm. This is huge. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Well, but, I thought it would be fun be, with something. That might be because they're good at it. <laughs> maybe. Which means it's too easy. Yes, maybe. But it's also fun to have one of those rounds once yes. in a while. We had, I mean, Bone Shake one was, Amanda, I'm sorry, but it was really hard. Really, really hard. Um, all right. <laughs> okay. No bonus points uh, on, on for anything. No. Okay, here we go. All right. So, this one. What do we need for it? The, the oh you've got the answer there no oh no the, the name, name of that statue of this statue it's, it's Stephen isn't it <laughs> I think <laughs> it Stefan. is I have a, sh a picture here oh hold them up together it's this the thinker the thinker le penseur how did you do it did you draw it first can you see yeah no I just kind of free handed it with scissors. What? No. Yeah, I drew it first. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was going to say, that would be insane. <laughs> Le Penseur. Le Penseur, the thinker. In Swedish, by Rodin. Grubladen. Grub. Tänkaren. A potato, wrote Paul. <laughs> okay, so the number two, it was this one. And in real life, it looks like this. And it's Venus de Milo. Venu de Milou. Wow, my phone is dirty. What about uh, someone want to see the last one again? We'll give a quick, 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 quick. There's the fifth one again. Three seconds. Very hard round to Google, isn't it? As well, it's huh? super hard. This one is the Mona Lisa. Look how beautiful she is. You might recognize uh, the Mona Lisa from my recent Easter egg painting. Yes. Or maybe from the painting itself. <laughs> uh, email says Mona Lisa or in Swedish, Mona Lisa. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. This one. This kind of looks like a harmonica, don't you think? It is, well, the, the artist that is connected to this is Monet. Oh, Money, yeah, that's nice. Claude Money. I like this. So the 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 water lily pond and the bridge bridges. So before we do the next one, shall we get people to guess it? The last one. Yes, you may write an answer in the comments. What's your guesses? So the artist connected to this one. The Japanese bridge at Giovanni. Exactly right, guys. That's right. Not this one. The last no, one. The last one. People are guessing on the last one. We have Rodin, Picasso, Klimt, Klimt. Picasso, Rodin, Toulouse, the Trek, Matisse, whoa, a lot of different ones. Degas, Michelangelo, Renoir, Can Gough, Cezanne, I love it. Invader, says Lisa, that's original. <laughs> Klimt. Oh, this is, this is great. All right, well, it was, in fact, I see that plenty so, of you got it. It is, it is Picasso. And this piece, I think, is called uh, The Dreamer or The Dream. So yes, that was that round. That was a great that round. That was my little art round, my little crafty art round. If you enjoyed that round, hit like on this video yeah. or give uh, Lena a little follow on Instagram. Either works. Is that true? Well, I think you're right. Sure. I'm yeah. going to just share it again while people give us their scores out of 25. So no. how did you do? Four out of five from Deborah Ball, four out of five. Which one did you miss out on? Was it the Picasso? I think it had to be the Picasso. Yeah, the Picasso get. was quite tricky. Look, now I can look at Instagram on the computer. This is look, great. Look there. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can see. Oh. I'll share all this stuff, guys. <laughs> really nice. Look at these scores. Oh, this was fun. I might I might do another one of these. I think, I think take next, them harder next, next time. Week. Yeah, I think maybe I have to. But it's, I mean, now I've done all the, the main ones. 
Yeah. Not really, but like the Mona Lisa, the bridge. I need to scroll through the scores now out of 25 to 26 technically with that bonus point. Because mm -hmm. now we're coming to the final round. <sighs> we have a 19 from Christopher. Uh, is he higher than 19 yet? 19 from Jackie. Oh, God. people like the round. People oh, love great. the round. That makes me happy. Bellman's Gordon is 107 out of 25. Well, I do... <laughs> oh! What is happening? Okay, my battery's... Okay, my battery's dying. This is actually like a That's... minor concern. Okay. No, no, we get... there has to be a way to fix it. Because hmm. last week we were, we were charging as it was on, right? Yes. Can we... Is it... Maybe it's this? Have you actually plugged it in? Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know, I'll plug it in on the other side. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Sorry, bear with me, guys. Okay, sorry. Yes, just, you know, talk amongst yourselves. Because otherwise we gotta finish we gotta finish the quiz within. Yeah, uh, I guess within this might pause for a sec, I'm just gonna check something, okay? Hmm. Okay. What does one do? Is there another way? Can we plug it into your laptop? That's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Okay. Eddie's internet has been out the whole time. There you go. If you plug it in on this side. Yeah. Definitely. And then we've got one last round, which I'll tell you what it is in two seconds. And we might have to do it at top speed, imagine that. No, 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 because last week we had it. Let's see if it's, um... Does it work? Do you get that little... Uh... Guys, talk amongst yourselves for a second. Anything? I don't know. I'm going to just do this again. What is it? Maybe we try this chord instead. Sure. Switch. Bear with me, bear with me. Yeah, sorry. I'm filming this from my phone, actually. Uh, yeah, there you go. Does it work now? Yep. Okay, good. That is... Okay, 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 okay. now we're talking. We're good? Oh, save the day. I was sweating, Ooh. I was sweating. Yeah, and I'm all ruffled. Okay, French music would be a great topic. Did, they, did you talk about yourself? So I film it off my phone, which usually is uh, charged up, but it wasn't today. Um, French music, so I had this idea before we get into the last round to do French music where I play 10 seconds of a song and you guys guess it. But uh, the risk is that YouTube takes the video down because it's happened to me before. Yeah, we don't want to risk that. So the best I could probably do is hold up a picture of a musician, which is kind of lame compared to... You can do a cutout. Oh, wow, that was stressful. Okay, here okay. we go. Um, it wasn't that stressful. So, what do we have left? Is it... This is... Okay, so... Ooh, oh, excited. my God. I like a quiz with only Audrey Hepburn movies, says Nola. I can't believe that wow. you wrote that. Because the last round is Audrey Hepburn movies in Paris. <laughs> I'm actually serious. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. That's so weird. Have you hacked into my computer? Because I'm serious. Amazing. Do okay, we need well, to do, you're in luck then. Do we need to do a uh, bonus point? Four? Because I, I didn't catch the scores. I don't know how close we are. Can the people who had the highest scores uh, please write your scores? The people who were really high. Because I need to know who's close. Um, and then there's a bit more drama. Now, uh, please have Oliver do the cutouts next week. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> 23 for Carla out of 25, out of 26 actually. So Carla's winning. Okay, 21, 23. 23 for April. Okay. They were working together though. All right. So Maria we have is on 23. 23 again. This is what okay. I like to see. Melissa's on 21.25. How did you get a quarter? <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut out Oliver. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, so I've got a pretty good idea. Okay, we got a few 20. Lita Randall event. has spent the week watching Audrey Hepburn movies. <gasps> Okay, Linda's on 21. Well prepared so for what this, I've then. done is I Lena loves Audrey Hepburn and you know how she wrote the um more March round for me? I wrote this for her, knowing that it would also be for all you guys. But I wrote it thinking she kinda knows Audrey. And I've written it in a way that if you've never seen a single one, you should still be able to guess. Um do we do we do I did have one. I do have a bonus point. But I think the winning people would all get it. Hmm. 
Okay. I will do a bonus point. Yeah, fun, do it. I just don't know which one I'm going to do. From <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what going to do. No, we'll start with the Audrey Hepburn. I'll do a bonus okay. one if we need it. You ready? So uh, the first one is multiple choice. Starting easy. April wants to write a section. You can. Starting easy and getting harder and harder. Here we go. Henry says hello. That makes me think there might be new people. Don't put comments in the comment field. You're all terrible when you do that. <laughs> Audrey Hepburn movies. Multiple choice to start with. Which movie... Don't read here, please. I, well, I haven't even written I the answers. I haven't written. You can read. Oh, okay. Which... And multi-choice coming. Which movie do you have a scene where Audrey is writing a letter to her father and she says... How, what's her voice sound like again? Just do a little bit. No, so I can get it. Hello, father. Yeah. There you go. I have learned how to live, how to be in the world and of the world. Are you saying it as well? <laughs> yes. And not just stand aside and watch. I will never, never run away from life or from love either. Sounds a bit like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. The multiple choice is, is that movie called A, Sabrina, B, Christina, or C, Regina? Write it down. Do not write it here. Write it down on the paper. <sighs> Don't tell the answer, but did you get it? Was it easy? Yeah. There was a little bit of a trick in there. Did you get that as well? Yeah, the the names? Yeah. yeah. No, as in that. No. Okay. What's, what's with that? I'm not going to tell you. Uh, the Oscar goes to Oliver for the Audrey, and personally, so, I think oh, so thanks too. very much. <laughs> we can do cutouts, I can do Audrey. Yeah, uh, we're just talented, okay. <laughs> talented family over here. Uh, this is an A or B, okay? okay? Maria also got the trick, so there was a trick that you didn't even get. Here we go, true or, oh no, A or B, A or B. No answers. Uh, Hepburn played Eleanor of Aquitaine in The Lion in Winter in 1968, which was filmed in southern France. A. True. B. False. That was Catherine Hepburn. Hmm. I'm thinking. Okay, I think I got my answer. I don't know if I've got my answer yet. Yeah, but you know the oh, answer. Oh yeah, I know the answer. Okay. How about this one? <laughs> also, I've only watched like one of these movies, so I don't know how to make them harder, but they definitely get okay. harder. Uh, Christine says, what? I don't know what you mean by that. Um, number three. In the movie Charade, or you might pronounce it Charade, Audrey, <laughs> I'm on a first name basis with her here, what is the question? The question was true or false, basically. I'll ask it again. You can uh, put it in oh, yeah. the comment section. Oh, yeah. We're so new to this. Next week, we'll put all the questions in the comments. That's so. an A or B. And in the first one, uh, I quoted from... Quoted from a film and you wanted a multiple choice. Thank you for filling in. So that, there that so there is the uh, question two and then question one. Mm -hmm. Hepburn played Eleanor of Aquitaine in The Lion and Witter, which is blah, blah, blah. True. I should say it again. Audrey Hepburn played Eleanor of Aquitaine. True or be false, that was Catherine Hepburn. Whew. I like that Maria needs a re-question. I don't think she knows that one. Ah. In Charade. Uh, in Charade, Audrey smooches... Do you know the name of the actor in it? You don't know? That should have been the question. In Charade, Audrey smooches Cary Grant while riding on which Paris attraction? Hmm. You don't know that one. I haven't seen Charade! <laughs> oh, here we go! Woo! You know what? I didn't actually... Woo, woo, woo! I only like a few of her movies, and the ones I like, I like a lot. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Last week you you said, I'm the biggest Audrey fan, I and I've seen them all. It's on It's uh, on there. I haven't seen them all. I watched the trailer for this one. I might one. not Looks, have seen... This, I haven't seen Charade. This trailer, they called it the Hitchcock movie, 
the only Hitchcock movie that Hitchcock didn't make. Really? Yeah, it's like a Hitchcock film. Oh, wow, I can't believe I haven't seen it. Okay, here we go. Charade is so good, says Melinda. Time for a movie marathon. Fabian hey. Renault says hi, guys. Hey! Fabian, you... Oh, you like... <laughs> 95% in well, here. We're going to hang around after and chat with everyone after the quiz. Yeah, we'll give you 12 points. Question four. <laughs> Question four. In Paris, when it sizzles, our heroine, that's all you have done, mm. helps, uh, and remember they're getting harder, okay? Uh, in, in Paris, when it sizzles, our heroine helps a hapless screenwriter to write a film. Remember this? Mm -hmm. What's the name of that fictional film? Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Whoa. I remember. When I was... Do you actually remember that? <laughs> yeah, because when... You don't remember that. No, I don't that. remember. You but don't know that. When I was writing this, I looked up uh, trivia for the movie. I read the synopsis. Mm. And then I remembered that name of the movie. And I was like, yeah, that was... Here's a clue. I was like, that's a bit ridiculous. Well, I've got to guess. you got to guess? Yeah, i got to guess. I don't know if we guess, we'll cut it. i got to guess. I wonder if anyone got that one. If you felt like you get it, got it, right? Yeah. No, no, don't write anything. No. I take it back, I take it back. No Last one. Lena's hair is getting super long. Yes. There's no hairdressers around. Yeah. Here we go, next what one. What can I do? He could cut it, I guess. But the no. final question of the pub quiz, volume five. In Funny Face, remember that one? You like that one? I love that one. If you get this one, I'll be amazed. Our heroine... Oh yeah, I sorry. Oh, I forgot to put uh, questions in the thing. <laughs> it's new, it's new. It's on new! Oh, it's We're new, getting used new. to it. Uh, there you go is question three. And here is question four. No one write the answers. There you go, Jossie and Alexandra. Sorry, I forgot that I was meant to be doing that. Okay, final question of the pub quiz. <laughs> In Funny Face, our heroine, <laughs> that means Audrey Hepburn, <laughs> uh, walks down the steps of the Louvre and says, I can't stop, take the picture, take the picture. <laughs> yeah, she does. Was that a good imitation? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she uh, walks down and says, take the picture. Ready? Mm -hmm. What is the name of the famous sculpture behind her? When she's walking down those steps. Don't write it in the comments. Oh, Here it is I'm written out. Now. I watched it today on YouTube, so I'm very... Claudine says, so easy. Oh. You know what's funny? I almost put that as one of my cutouts. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I was like, I was Googling something. And figured out that I thought it was something else. Claudine, I honestly so. don't believe that you got question four, though. If you got the fictional movie, I'll be, I'll be <laughs> simply amazed. Maybe she had like a Audrey Hepburn marathon, maybe. Midnight in Paris section, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Although then it's just about one movie. No, 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 that's not a good idea. I it take could it be back. Midnight in Paris theme. It could be a question. Yeah. Then everyone would just watch it. True. Okay, time for the answers. And okay. Lena is going to provide them. Really? Has everyone put ah. their pens down, please? Pens down. Pens down. Okay. Here we go, Lena. Well, the answer to question number one is definitely Sabrina. And definitely. The, the way that I was a bit tricky in that, as Maria noticed, is Regina is the character that she plays in Charade, I think. Oh, well, that's why I didn't know I had yeah, seen Charade. That's why I tried to trick you. Did anyone uh -huh. write Regina and get tricked? Tell me, please. But Sabrina A is the correct answer. Fabian says, what? Pants down. <laughs> We have another drunk commenter. <laughs> Eddie gets Regina. Oh, sorry, Eddie. Yeah. Uh, Lisa got it. Okay, okay next good. question. True or false? True, she played Eleanor of Aquitaine, or false, that was Catherine Hepburn? I feel like it was false. Because I haven't heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had it. But, you, but you're a fan of Eleanor of Aquitaine, aren't you? Would you call her the Oprah Winfrey of yeah. French history? Mm. The answer is... Oh, that is actually true. I did that. Mm. When yeah, we were down in Glasgow, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the funny. answer is uh, B, false. That was Catherine Hepburn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll drink to that. That was Catherine Hepburn, right. of course. Of 
cool. Every time I touch the chair or the computer, the I didn't yeah. I didn't tighten it. We're enough. not drunk. It's just the phone that's a little bit drunk. False Catherine. Yes, correct. Good, good, good. In charade, Audrey Ugh. smooches Cary Grant while riding on which? Okay, I'm gonna Paris guess. Attraction. Can I guess? You, of course. That's... Okay, I'm gonna guess it's the um, carousel. Which one? I need specifics. <sighs> Maybe the Do you mean the one that goes vertical or no, horizontal? The, this one. Okay, guys, was she right? Who knows? Is it a carousel? By Is it a carousel? Hang on, you said this one? Yeah. You can you're free to write the answers. Okay, which one is it? Does anyone know what she writes? Someone will, someone will know. Someone this is tense. Melinda says nope. Bato Moosh. It boat. was, it was a boat, sorry. Boat! I, I was just messing with you on the vertical. Oh. Uh, carousel, yeah, okay. you're all no. wrong. Boat yeah. cruise, we would accept boat, bateau mouche, cruise ship. Okay. We would not accept the metro. <laughs> rats! I think she means rats. Oh, oh right. A couple of the <laughs> high rollers did not answer them when I gave them the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm... Still very intrigued if Veronique was in um <laughs> in chocolat as a peasant. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, the answer was a boat. And unexpected. The answer was a boat. Now, I watched the trailer for it. He was a bit um. He was like um. He was like, my God, Audrey, there's a big problem with this investigation. And she's like, what is it? He's like, I can't keep my damn eyes off you. And I was like, all right. All right, Carrie. <laughs> and then they start smooching under the bridge. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> April, well. April said pony ride. <laughs> and Fabio <Fatima laughs> loves it. I don't know what he loves, but he loves and, it. And French girl says she was an elegant peasant, which is, uh, that's, uh, you can't say that. That doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess she could be an elegant peasant. I think so. Yeah. I think it, yeah. Okay, here's a fun one. Lena. Lena, we're asking Lena first. What was the name of the film that okay. they were writing in Paris when it sizzles? Well, I, I'm gonna guess Paris when it sizzles. No, that was not no. What? No. Well, that was my guess. No. Okay. Um, you guys who know, put the answer. But I'm gonna see if I can get Lena to remember. Okay. So put the answer if you know it, because that's okay, the one thing. No one. Yeah, you can't look. Okay. I don't okay. think anyone will honestly get that. Okay. Except for the people who watched it recently. Give me a hint. Yeah, no, but first I want to see if anyone gets it. Oh, yeah, fair enough. But you're not allowed to look. Okay, I'll look over here. I guess the same as Lena, not a clue. Who are the people that did the marathon? Paris is for lovers. True. Oh, Bad right, impressions. Yeah. Stuff. Maybe the... <laughs> I thought it was this like... Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm just looking at uh, it. Uh, I need those answers from the winners. Else. Maria, I need an answer from you. I love Paris, she says. Paris Mon Amour. Is that your guess? I don't know. Who was the other person that was winning? There was there. someone else who was winning and I don't think they said their answer. I don't think anyone's cheating. I just like to see what, which okay. ones I can stump them on. Mm. So here's a clue. Uh, it's got something to do with the Eiffel Tower. And, and a girl. Okay, I'll give you... The girl who stole the Eiffel Tower. Yes, I remember now. That's pretty good. You did get a big clue. That was a massive clue. <laughs> but that was it. It was the girl who steals the Eiffel Tower, or the girl who stole, or yeah. something like that. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'd almost give you a point for creativity. Yeah. If you meant Paris, Texas. Paul. Um, ah, yes, says Maria. Yeah. The <sighs> last one. Uh, where... That's a tricky one. Can you do the thing? I can't stop. Take the picture. Take the Never. picture. Never. <laughs> Michelle Sawyer, the girl who stole the Eiffel Tower. Ruth is the only one who guessed it when I asked to guess it. Well, okay. Michelle, a little bit late there. What is the name of that? Of the one? Yeah, at the top <gasps> of the loo. Okay. Take the picture. Yeah. Take so the picture. I actually seriously thought it was Venus de Milo. No. Sorry to say. Sorry of my ignorance. No, no, no. Um, it's very hard. But is it Venus? No. It's not Venus. Not even a planet. Is it Venus? No. no. I'll give you a clue. Uh, Guys, did you guess it? Put in your guesses. Is it effort, effort? No. <laughs> it's no. got big wings. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. Well, it begins yeah. with wing. Wing. There's a clue. There's 20 wing. clues. Wingness. What? Wing. Wing triumph? Really? The winged victory. The wing. 
the winged victory, winged victory. No. of Samothrace or Samothrace. Okay, wow. If you are a winged that victory, we will accept it. If you are a winged victory of Samothrace. Okay, you guys are amazing. Hats off. My favorite thing at the Louvre, someone writes, it really is. Uh, I was there in the Louvre fairly recently for a podcast episode where I was in there when it was empty. Mm. Does, we, does Victor Summer Thrace count? Yeah, Pat, you can have that. That's good. Uh, there you go, guys. That is the quiz. If That's anyone's it. tied, we can do a tiebreaker. But send us your scores even if you don't think you're going to win. Yeah. Send some scores and what did you we get? Wanna see and I want to know who if wins. It's like too easy. What was the easiest yeah, round? Yeah, feedback, feedback, feedback. Yeah. What, what do we want to see more of, less of? You, you, know, you talk, things. I'm looking at the scores. Things, things. They come in so quick, it's really things hard work. for me to keep an eye on them. 22 yeah. from Jackie is the highest I've seen. 25 eight. from Nan. This is good. Bellman's Gordon, 8. eight. Uh, well, Bellman's Gordon, I think I gave you 10, so I don't know how you got mine. Maria is on... Th hang on. Maria's on 28. So Maria's... Don't you dare tell me Maria's going to win. Oh, dear. Did well, anyone I beat 28? I saw a fake one from Fabian. No, no, no. 20. Carla also got 28. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. So. So it looks like it could be. And Phil got 23 without cheating. That's good. I wonder what you will get with cheating though. Okay. Fab says Maria is cheating again. I don't think she is, Fabian. Mm -hmm. But uh, your sportsmanship showing up that late and then accusing our reigning <laughs> champion is enough to send you to Bastille prison. <laughs> it looks like we need a tiebreaker. Okay, do we have a bonus? <laughs> Christine says, who is this Maria? Need to interview her on the podcast. I, she doesn't cheat. I know her. I know her. She's lovely. But I will. I think I will get you on the podcast. But first we need a um, tiebreaker. 27 for April. Okay, so here's what I, I'm just going to whisper it to Lena. Uh, Yeah. I said that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Is there something else? No. So what if I say... I don't know whoever writes it first. Okay, yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, so uh, thanks, Gavin. The storm has arrived in Charente. Is that Gavin who we met? Did we meet a Gavin in Charente? Okay, here's what we're going to do. This is a bonus question for a point for everybody, but, and I have to stress this, Maria and Carla. Was it Maria and Carla? Yeah, I think so. This yeah. is a race as well for who wins. Yes. I'm going to give a question that has a one word answer. I've mentioned it already in the past uh, hour. Whichever one shows up first with the correct answer wins. You can answer once. Are you ready? Everyone else write it on your paper because it's worth a point. Here we go. Start writing. Get your fingers ready and present it straight away if you know it. So it's also a race. Uh, earlier in the quiz, someone was commenting and I said about their name. No one else comment. I said about their name. Your name is the same as the first king of the Franks. What is that person's name for the win? I'm looking for a comment from Maria or Carla. Carla. Oh, Carla. Carla wins it with and Clovis. It's, it's right. Both correct. I feel. Oh, it was so. Oh, this is, this is hard. Yeah, sorry, Maria. It's just a question <laughs> of timing fastest. <sighs> but uh, M Maria, that will uh, help you in that you won't get three points. She says True. no. I answered first. No, I think it came up first for me. Did it come up first differently for different people? I saw a. Uh, I saw Carla first. Oh. Well, Carla, 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 so cheeky. All right. Yeah, we, it, it was just, a, it, it turned out to be a race, seeming you both knew it. But you can take it to the grave, Maria, that you have technically finished the round first three times. But Carla Incredible. is the victory. She is the winged victory of Samothrace. <laughs> yes. With the help of April Pet, apparently. <laughs> Oh, well, this is good. This was a good round. I feel but like no, this no, was a it's, good yeah, quiz. Yeah, and it's nice to have a new champion as well. That's good. Yeah, got to share that crown. Got to share the crown. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
good quiz. Let us know your favorite sections. Let us know what you think. Uh, let us let us know what you think was the worst section. What you missed. Yeah, I saw someone <laughs> Maria, missed. Maria, no problem. Oh. I will win again. <laughs> Maria, here's how I'll sweeten, the, I'll sweeten the deal is, uh, Maria, you're going to be featured on one of the upcoming podcasts. I'm going to do a cross oh, to Maria. Oh, I look forward to that. I really She's do. lovely. Oh, that's great. Uh, yes, yeah, so I saw someone miss the uh, Who Am I section. Yeah, I didn't I do it. I think maybe that will have to come back. Mm. I think I will have to do some more cutouts because that was pretty fun. Someone's asked for a sports section. I a feared sports? that a sports section would alienate a lot of people and they would get zero. Do you think that's fair? Maybe. Answer sheets. There's two ways you can do it. You can email it to me, or you can be very kind and generous and share it on your Facebook or your uh, Instagram and tag me at tag Lena. It. The reason I ask that is because it helps this show grow and more people will come. People will be like, hey, Mary, what is that thing you were talking about? And you go, oh, it's this great pub quiz. Come and check it. That's exactly how Mary would talk. That's how we had a hundred yeah. and whatever people here today compared to like 50 when we started. Exactly. What else Exciting. have I missed? Okay. Well, that's pretty good feedback, I think. Yeah. That's good. And uh, yeah. we love the idea. Everyone's jealous of Maria. <laughs> Maria has been such a long time listener to the show that uh, she's she's been cramming for three years, I guess. Mm. A section about, that's a good thing, uh, the winner should be able to uh, select categories too. Yeah. She wants a selection about cities in France or history. Although if anyone doesn't need help, Maria, <laughs> is you. You should tell us the section that you would hate to see. Oh yeah. That would be more fair. Yeah. Maria and uh, all previous winners, uh, Melinda, Claudine uh, and Carla, what would be the section you'd least like to see? Come on, let's let's flatten the curve together here. Um, who am I? Yeah, I didn't do it yeah, this time. Okay. I, I just I just paused from it. Tour de France. Maria doesn't sports? want. Maria doesn't want sports. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang around and have a glass of champagne with anyone who wants to hang around. If you got things to do on Friday night, it's been really great having you here in the quiz. Thanks to the people who sent in the super chats. We're gonna put that. We're gonna pump that back into the. I know. Um, small, It'll be great. Small businesses of mm -hmm. Montmartre. Local, local businesses. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. It's not just the plan. That's what we're going to do. So thanks to your generosity. Uh, Bellman's Gordon, my husband is climbing on the wall. Maybe. Maybe climbing. climbing questions. Climbing questions. Interesting. Yeah, that is, I guess that's sports. Fabian says, I breath for sports. <laughs> I breathe? You breathe. <laughs> We'll do one then. We'll do a sports question. Uh, Lucy Sansom oh. calls it her weekend highlight and sends in $15. That's very kind. Perfect. Maybe that will go to some um, local brewery beer what next it? week's podcast. Yeah. What, is it, what like does it cost that? to go to the cinema in America, Lucy? Is it about 15 bucks? If this was as entertaining as a uh, cinema night, then I'd be interested to know if that mm. was 15, what 15 bucks we get in America. What does a ticket cost to the movies here? 12? 12, 12 euros. 11? Something? Ron sends in five bucks oh, and says thank, thank you. you. And I say thanks, Ron, because I saw you shared us on Instagram. Look at this. Hey, look at that. We're looking very <laughs> charming, man. That's really nice that you did that. Oh, that's, that's exactly nice. what, uh, that's exactly how this show grows. And I can see everybody's stuff. Great. 15 to 20 bucks for the movie. Goodness me. Joseph sends in five and he writes something as well. All right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Guess what? We'll be back exactly the same time next week, Saturday night here, doing mm -hmm. the exact same thing, hanging around at the end, answering questions. Uh, and last week, I was giving a rare behind the scenes into the Eiffel Tower and, uh, and uh, answering questions about the book. People asked me my least favorite guest. Did I answer? Tiki1313 says, you guys need some cheese to go with the beer and the wine. Oh, yeah. that's nice. We should have a che cheese yeah, wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Tiki. We'll definitely, definitely do that. We'll definitely do that. That's a really good idea. And now I want some cheese. Lucy says the screen froze. Are we back again? Oh, well, I hope so. And we've got a UK viewer. This is their Saturday night entertainment. Thanks for organizing oh, and making it happen. Good. Well, I'm very happy to do that. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty um, really good. Alexandra Snyder says, ask Karen from four months in Paris for a section. I actually did. I, I messaged yeah. her. We were chatting on Instagram and I said, um, you should watch the quiz. Do you want to put
put in a section. And she said, uh, she said, oh, you know more about that stuff than me, unless I did Disney movies. <laughs> and I said, you can do Disney movies. It's not very French, though. I said she could it do a could question about... It could be like about... Aristocats. Oh. I said she could, could do a question about Yves Saint Louis, where she used to live. Yeah. Christine sends in a lovely donation as well. Aww. Thanks for the tip. You're very kind. Night, Fabian. Thanks for tuning in. Your section of the uh, audiobook is coming out soon too, Fabian. Oh, so. Remember recording that before the lockdown? Mm. <laughs> ah, Carl says, do you have Venmo? Trying to limit how many sites link to my cards. And I don't have a Venmo. Tiki. Tiki's print. One of my prints uh, arrived yesterday. It was so fast. And oh, Thank you so much for ordering and I'm really glad that you like it. Which one did you get? Explain what it is. So I, I've been doing a lot of sketches. Good night, um, Belmont Gordon. Good night. Uh, yeah, I've been doing lots of sketches. A sketch a day during the lockdown. And I fill up my little lockdown sketchbook. And I put them on Instagram. And some of these sketches I put up as a print. So you can buy it as a print in my Etsy shop. Do you like this Prosecco, by the way? Yeah. It's kind of warm. Oh, do you want ice? Do you have ice? No, I was thinking there's a beer. Maybe I'll have a beer to end the night. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to put a link to your Etsy shop. Etsy, winged okay. victory of Samo Thrace. And Julius the like his print kit arrived. Wow, it's so fast. That's really good. That's very good news. I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> Fabian's waiting for his royalties. La posters. <laughs> ah, get out of here, Fabian. Uh, the sketch oh, today. The Tiki got the Eiffel Tower on the terrace. So I just oh, linked to it. You guys can have a look at all those beautiful things on the Etsy shop. Favorite it for later, maybe. I'll put up new ones pretty regularly. I, I, today I sketch, uh, show, I sketch show, show, show. the Ritz. Well, I can show it. I've started answering comments on your Instagram. Really? Oh yeah, I noticed that actually. <laughs> so today, can you see? No, My that is. Angle, but yeah, next to it. Oh, that's bad. There you go. Oh, I had it. Can you see that? There he is. It looks uh, very... Um... It's the entrance to the Ritz Hotel in Paris. So yeah, maybe I'll put this up as a print. I got a few requests. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing for now. During the lockdown. Someone's asking for the score sheet. It is a bit late. <laughs> well, maybe for next... There you go. Week. It was in there somewhere. And that was sent in from Scott Nagel, I believe. Um, <clears throat> so now's a good time that you guys can... Uh, we're here. I'm going to literally have a glass or a beer mm -hmm. and chat with you. If you've got questions about lockdown, if you've got questions about anything, uh, we do this for two reasons. One is that we, we live two people in... Uh, what is it? 30 square meters. I forget what that is in feet all the time. It's not a lot. 300 it's... or something? Mm, I'm not sure. Um, Bellman's Gordon from Day is the answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we do it because it's nice to have people to chat to, partly, but also because I know that uh, during the quiz it's hard to back and forth very well. Yeah. And answer questions. But uh, uh, Lucy says, get YouTube superstar Jay Swanson to write a few questions. He did last week. Mm -hmm. Done. Else you weren't watching last week, Lucy. Three twenty-two square feet. There yeah, so that's what we um, have been living in for the past month and a bit. And I have to say, it's it's. I think it's totally fine. It's nice. We have a good time. Three twenty-three square feet would be nice. You know who I spoke to on the phone the other day? Yeah, I guess. I spoke to uh, the Australian ambassador to France about something. In fact, I think I can give it away, is that they want to do interviews with Australians around uh, uh, pa Paris and France. So they got in contact and I got chatting with the ambassador. And he has, as you all know by now, the best apartment in Paris. And when I was talking to him, he was sitting on his terrace, which is bigger than like a restaurant He could terrace. literally run laps on that terrace. And he asked me how big, he said, do you have a balcony? And I said, yeah, I'm standing on mine. And he said, how big is it? And I said, 30 centimeters. <laughs> By about 80 centimeters. Oh, yeah. It's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a, a, a proper question here from Maria. If the yeah. flight ban has been lifted... Uh, I don't think so. I think, I think the only flights mm. are people getting repatriated home. 
I don't think you can fly into Paris or out. No. Our road trip, our US road trip was meant to start on May 1st. Yeah, that's coming up and it's not happening, of yeah. course. So yeah. But you did a little announcement a few days ago. Oh yeah. I so had, maybe that's something to talk that's about. That's something fun. I'm going to do a virtual book tour just for now around the US. So I'm going to do it on Zoom. And I'm going to do a really similar trip to what we were going to do. Like Seattle and LA and New York and places in between. And if you're from those cities, I'm going to sit there and just chat with you. And I'm going to, like, if we do the, um, let's say we do the, the Chicago one, for example. And you're from New York or you're from Sydney, it's probably not worth watching it because I want to talk about Chicago as well, mm. you know? So I'll, I'll come on and I'll be like, oh, Michael Jordan, blah, blah, blah. And if you're watching from Sydney, like, I'm here to talk about the book as well. It won't be like that. So wait till we come to your city, I think. I think that's a really fun idea. I hope so. Even Try if it's only it 10 of us or something. to keep it as similar as possible to what the actual event would have been exactly. like. But digital. Um... Nolanami, hardest name to pronounce, has just read part of the part of my book about a honeymoon. <laughs> Do I have any problems with the Lyme disease that I contracted? Oh. Not that I know of, although a few people told me to take it really seriously. It's not really a spoiler alert that I got that terrible illness because it's been on the... Mm. We talked about it on the show. Mm. But people said take it seriously and check yourself up every six months, and I never did, so I probably should. But I feel really fine. Mm. I mean, it was Except for the pounding headaches yeah. and the fatigue every three weeks on the dock. <laughs> no, but it was... I mean, you were notably bad. I wonder if I... It was very, very different to how you are now and how you were before. Oh, yeah. I was, so, I was literally lying on the side of the road. Yeah. Like, every 30 minutes or so, we pulled over. And I just laid down. I was like, oh, I'm so And tired. I was like, because we, before we, we knew what it was, I was like, well, I'm... You know, it's tiring to go around on a scooter. It's like bouncing along, and it's yeah, it's tiring. I was like, I'm a little bit tired, but because <laughs> I kept, at first I kept, weird. <laughs> I kept saying, "Are you tired?" And you're like, "Yeah." And I was like, oh, "Okay." I was like, "Are you really tired?" Yeah. <laughs> and so I googled. I was like, "Really, does, really tired. Does riding a scooter or motorbike long distance oh, make yeah. you tired?" And it's like, "Yeah," in your arms and your back and your legs. And I was like, "Oh, jeez, it's just riding for hours a day." Mm. And then um. Yeah, and then we didn't really think much more about it mm. until you got rashes all over. Let's see. Anyways. Lyme disease goes well with coronavirus. Well, that's not a very fun thing to look forward to. Mm. Um, I finished your book a few days ago and enjoyed it so much. Thanks so much. You guys who do enjoy it, leave one of those Goodreads reviews. What I said last week to people is, um, if you read that whole book, probably took... What, six hours? Mm -hmm. yeah, Add an extra like ten minutes on that six hours and write a review and give me something to read in return. And I would love it. There's the link. <laughs> now we need to order the memoir. If you are in America, Ron, order it via that quiz link because it's cheaper. It's just uh, cheaper postage. If you're elsewhere, it'll be... Unless you're in Paris, unless you're in France. If you're in France or America... That's right. Order via this link coming in right now. What else have we missed, Leah? Mm, I'm not sure. This one's for you, Ron, or anyone else. Oh, someone's asking for a question or answer for next yeah, week. Yeah, cool. The people oh. who stayed around, 116 people, you get yeah. the answer. Uh, what should we do? How about... Um, I don't know, I was just thinking of Marie Antoinette. Okay. That be one. Let's say someone let's... wanted history, and I was thinking. We'll do it as an easy one, okay? Yeah. So we'll say, um, oh, we'll make it sound hard. So she's from Austria, right? That's right. So, um, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll say what city was she born in. There you go. It won't be a one point question. We'll make it like a two or three. And I'm gonna look up the answer now. Mary Antoinette's birth city. Vienna. Vienna. What city was Marie Antoinette? And I'm going to try and fake people out. I'm going to say, we all know the Queen of France was uh, Marie Antoinette. Very French. Mm -hmm. And I'll even do a French oh, accent. Oh, I'll be I like, see. Whoa, 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 yes. whoa. But what city was she born in? Paris? Vienna. No, no, don't say it. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. Vienna, there you go. Yeah. 
Okay, so, good. Now we got that. Send me a private control. message and remind me because I f forget yeah, we... 60% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else have we got? Stephanie wrote a review on Goodread. Lots of smart yeah, observing. <laughs> the reviews have been exceptionally kind, actually. It's been a really nice... Um, because you know usually you write a book. I guess in the old days people would send letters to the author or something? I guess so. Or to the publisher and they would send it... I don't even know how it mm. would work. Mm. But this is nice. It's different. So, um... Uh, what else have we got? Did uh, Veronique... Veronique, unlikely people will be able to fly into France until September or October now. Really? Holy moly. Wow. I haven't heard that. <gasps> Carl says, uh, has That's... the French government introduced any streamlined way? I don't think it's as streamlined as it is in Canada, from what I've seen. But uh, people who do similar jobs to me, or tour guides, or people who work for themselves, as I understand, if they can prove they've earned less money than they did last year or whatever, then they can get some kind of bonus. Mm. But uh, I'm determined not to uh, even get into that question. So uh, anyone who's considered signing up on Patreon, that's my salary. If anyone's ever wondered what my salary is, it's public. Go and be part of it. Help keep this going. And I know most of you already are. You do a whole section about Marie Antoinette, says uh, Maria Trendado. Yeah. That's yeah, a good yeah. idea. Actually, why not? Carl says Oliver's book would make a good screenplay. You're not the first to say that, Carl. <laughs> and Ashton Kutcher, I hear. That was funny. Do you see it? <laughs> no, uh, no. In this picture, in this picture, you'd see it. Should I share it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll share it with everybody. How about that? No. I, oh, right. Yeah, I can sort of see it. I mean, I thought you meant. Did I see the comment? Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. In the USA, Eddie says Ashton Kutcher could play you. In the USA, they said we get money, but no one's got it. Uh -huh. The other thing is, this is um, a message someone sent through Facebook. It's the easiest way to never get my attention is to message through Facebook. I never check it. Do email or Instagram. Because mm -hmm. I can't even find it. It's such a silly system. Yeah, it gets lost. Anyway. Not Ashton, the good <laughs> Owen brother. Which one's that? <laughs> Is that Owen Wilson's brother? The good Owen... I don't know. Luke Wilson. Hey, I heard oh, that yeah. I dressed up as him for Halloween once. Yes. Oh, it was so good. And With the whole sports uh, tennis thing. Mm. Was it Royal Tenenbaum? Yeah. Have you got your phone? I'll yeah. find a big shot. Where is it? Deborah Ball is commenting. Deborah, I'm really interested if you got your book because I don't feel like I heard from you. Um, so please let me know. Deborah, I was going to message you the other day. Heidi says, Oliver's Patreon, heart, 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 heart. Come on, it's worth the weekly trivia alone. All in all, the daily content from him and Lena and a million other things he gives us access to. Join now. Oh, Heidi is so lovely. That's so nice. She's right though, it is actually pretty cheap if, you, if you've watched this whole video and you have enjoyed it $10 worth a month, you're getting four of these a week. There's the link. Maybe you'll be a number 400. Ah, I found it! <laughs> Hang on. Can you see that? It's, it's not really crisp, the image, but... Yeah. People were stopping us in the central Paris. We usually, for Halloween, we usually like to dress up as a, like a couple, a famous couple, movie couple. It's pretty fun. So we've done John Travolta, we've done Grease, the Royal Tenenbaums, what else? Oh yeah, Pulp Fiction. Mm. I can't even remember. But it's fun. A few more comments here. Um, Julie. Do you see many people when we go to the market? Do people acknowledge each other like waving? Really good, best question so far because I have a good answer. I said to I said to you the other day when people whenever someone here's a little inside tip whenever someone says good question a politician or a podcaster or a journalist or an actor all that means is that they've got a good answer for it. I'm convinced. <laughs> so They're like yes, yeah, especially politicians. Good question. And I'll answer we'll that. stay on this for yeah. a while, yeah. So, I don't know if it was a good question, but I do have an answer for me. <laughs> uh, um, what, was the, what was the question? <laughs> yeah, the market. So, I've noticed something <laughs> about this. 
is I think uh, Parisians I find are very friendly generally, and will say bonjour to you on the street and nod and uh, bonjour monsieur that kind of stuff, and that's totally gone out the window. Totally. Totally, totally gone. Like yeah. people turn their heads away. Yeah. Especially people who are a bit afraid. Yeah, I of... felt like in the beginning, like week one, everyone was so nice. Yeah. And whenever you went out for a little exercise, man, yep. and everyone like you seeked out each other's eyes, and it was like, bonjour, bonsoir. But not now, at all. It's the opposite. Not at all. People are avoiding each other. Yeah. But um, and I wrote about this in the book too. When I go into shops, I'm extremely talkative, and I've noticed that shopkeepers are way more receptive to my bad jokes. <laughs> Than they usually are, and I think that's because people are not giving them much time. Oh. I think people go into the shop and just go, contact with pay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I chat all the time. I'm being careful too, but and they're laughing like crazy. Have you yeah. noticed that? Yeah. The jokes are finally working. Melinda hasn't got her first copy yet. I ordered an illustrated one last week. Uh, Melinda, were we talking about this? Because I think I sent out another one to you already, and I mentioned the door stopping gag there you can use the extra one as a door stepper and paul charlotte sends him five dollars oh, and nice. love the pub quiz oh so all the people who don't want to sign up on patreon there's an idea send in a lovely super chat like charlotte did and we'll we'll literally pump it back into the local companies that are trying to survive as well that way we get our food you guys feel like you've supported us and local it's business and we feel win, like we've win, supported win. local business because yeah. last time when people were putting in these super chats, I kind of felt like, what am I, what am I meant to do with it? It's nice, but what's the... Yeah. So now we've found a good reason, and so I can um, encourage it. Yeah. Uh, I saw Paul Greenlee uh, recommended the Flintstones for our next Halloween costume. I think that's a really good idea. He also wrote... You need to bulk up a bit. <laughs> bulk up or fatten up? Fatten up. He said, yeah. he also says uh, you get bad TV subscriptions. TV subscriptions for ten bucks. Give it to Oliver. He'll let you access the Eiffel Tower and everything else. Cool invites too. <laughs> um, let's see. Vera's right. What did she say? It says message retracted. Whatever she said, she was right. It's very important to start smiling at people and greeting them right now. I never stopped. Yeah. I worry about Lena not getting her art supplies. <laughs> yeah, it's um I have I have another another what do you call them like a block? Sketch block. So yeah, I'm not running out quite yet. And we said we've heard that this lockdown will go on until May eleventh. So hopefully it will last until then. And I'm sure it'll be fine. Otherwise I'll start painting the walls or something, it's fine. Or his face. Deborah Ball. Okay, I have my book and love my mention on page number 167. Nearly jumped from my chair and left a review on Goodreads. Yes, oh, that's oh. right. You did leave a review. I forgot. I just didn't want to... Uh, I knew that you were mentioned in it and I didn't want to spoil it. So I, uh, I was sort of cagely asking <laughs> whether you got it. I remember now. Okay, good, 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 good. And thanks for the review on Goodreads. Uh, what else have we got? Should we What's ask a question? What's your favourite beer? Do you have a favorite beer? I don't know, but I like... I love Panam. Oh, yeah, they make some really they good beers. Really, yeah, it's really nice. It's a local brewery. I'm not sure. Can you get it? I want to ask about the coin necklace you're wearing. Oh, the coin. Hidden here, behind everything. So this is actually... I got this from dear friend Carolyn. Uh, she bought this. It's an old Santine, I think it's called. Uh, the old Frank. Frank, the French money system uh, and it's cinq centimes and it's from the year i was born and she turned it into a necklace so this is a really really beautiful gift and i i wear it every day and every night i never take it off so yeah it's very special uh, did you know that it's actually from the year i was born yeah yeah so sweet because people often uh, spot that and yeah. ask you about it yeah i'm gonna have a beer and when that beer is done i will will head to bed or whatever and let you guys go as well. But that's how long we're here for if you want to chat. Um, Vero calls you a very special girl. We need to get to the bottom of this story, Vero, about the peasant. Yes, I'm so Is there a so way intrigued. that we can, is there a way that we can call can you her now send, somehow? Like, can you send a picture? Is there a way, we, if we call you, Vero, and on oh, your yeah. phone, and then 
Yeah. We put on loudspeaker so everyone can hear the story. That would be pretty that fun. That would be so fun. How do we do that? I'll message you. Uh... Yeah, if you want to do that, Vero, right now, okay. Lena will send you a message Instagram private. Respond to it and we'll just do a one minute version of it. If you, you don't want Instagram? to... I never use Instagram. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I'll leave that between I you mean, two. I Facebook. And then we'll get it live if she wants to. I'm sure she'll like it. I was like wondering, it. can we maybe call on Facebook? No, no. It, um... But we just Let's see. Yeah. This I'll, will be fun. I'll sort this out. I'm sending you a private Insta message. Oh no, you can I've got it. I know what to do. Yeah? You talk, Lena, you talk. Okay. No, I mean to them. Oh right. <laughs> ah, funny. Yeah, so what else? Do you guys have any... I know that maybe you asked uh, a little while back your Patreon members of what you guys do to like beat off boredom. Do you have any like extra little things that you like to do? Some, some habit that you picked up? Maybe some hobby that you really just dwell, delve yourself into? Here, write your phone number there. Where? Right there. Just write it. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to send Vero Lena's phone number, and if Vero calls, we'll have a live telling the peasant story, if it's true or false. If she doesn't call, she doesn't want to, and that's fine too. Oh, I forgot it. What Lena is it? forgot her own number. It's definitely not double zero at the start. No. There you go. I, I did type so you didn't say it out loud, though. Yeah. Because otherwise some crazy person will call you. <laughs> that's true. Um, do you want me to find your no, number? No, I, I think I got it. It's a new number, so she never remembers it. No. Me oh, neither. No. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That's right. <laughs> got wow, I got it. I got it. Oh, wow, I got it so uh, wrong. Sean Penn for Oliver Lookalike, says Belmont's Garden. You're not the first to say that one either. Uh, Carl watches pub quizzes to fight boredom. Natalie Portman will make a good leaner. Wow, that is a very flattering thing. Thank you. And before... <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful with giving your number out on the internet. Okay, there we go. That's it. Okay. We'll so see. if that phone rings, is Vero telling us the story. Kind of cool getting in contact with Dave Leibovitz during the show. Yeah, that was fun. Is it too late to send him a thank you? Uh, Gal Gatto would make a better Lena. Oh, yeah. So, um, Shelly, if you're still here... Gal Gadot is also the one who started the um, the sing along. Yeah, so she online. got she got pretty. Uh, what's the word? Um, she got torn to pieces by a lot of comedians and stuff because <laughs> what she did was she did a imagine all the people where all the celebrities sang a line, uh, imagine all the people living for the world, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then people say, "How are you? You know, you're all celebrities. You're not taking this seriously." So Shelley, whose birthday was the other day, we decided to do the same thing. But in our friend group, so yeah, that was that little. So we made a little segment. video for her where we all sang the words to terrible. imagine. But oh, it was terrible. None of us could sing. But it was beautiful. I think it was quite nice. She liked yeah. it. Is she still watching? No, no, no. And uh, no call from French girl, so she doesn't want okay. to do it. Maybe, but we won't push it. We won't push the matter. But you can still call. Private Instagram message there, Vero. Um, <clears throat> what else? I'm w waiting for the print of Sacre Coeur and the artist to be on Etsy. Then I can order two prints. What does that mean? Hmm. Which one haven't you put up? No, I don't know. Michael says he's been watching Paris pub quizzes. Is anyone else doing Paris pub quizzes? I don't know. I haven't seen anyone. Have you guys seen anyone? John says our enthusiasm is infectious. Is that John who I met really recently? Heidi's gotten really into skincare, lol. <laughs> That's nice. That's good. I wish I could say the same. Yeah, I have not. And hair care, neither. Gal's not feminine enough. Oh. Lena's a badass. Badass. <laughs> I, you know what I think? I don't think Vera was in Chocolat. Oh no. Can we Google it? Mm. Is it Googleable? Uh, oh, she's typing. Deborah says uh, Kira Knightley for Lena. I think they have the same eyes. Mm. <laughs> French girl in Seattle will not be calling <laughs> us for a very funny reason that I won't mention because maybe she won't want me to mention it. 
I won't say it publicly, but oh. that's funny. Okay. But I'll get her on the podcast. So. Yeah, this. I feel like there's definitely a good story here. Good story to be told. Christopher wants to know if you ever take requests. I'll answer that one, because you're very polite. <laughs> you can send in requests. Uh, yeah. And she'll do it sometimes. I, I will do it sometimes. Uh, and at the moment I have very exciting. I have a lot. It's quite overwhelming, the list. I have it uh, right now of um, commissions to do. And I can't send them out very easily because I, I don't have the right parcels here, not enough. So uh, if you do order, it might take a little while. Mm. So if so you want that's... a commission, like a drawing that you specifically want because you want the original to hang on your wall, I uh, mm. should do it. And depending on what the job is, there's a the prices for it. Yeah. Like if you want the Eiffel Tower on a two meter piece of <laughs> page, would you do it? Would you do something like that? It's allowed maybe 5,000 euros. I don't even know how to send it. If they said, we'll do the sending. Yeah. You do it in this I'll house. Do it. Yeah, there's a good wall there. Yeah, why not? Um, Lena might accept the commission. Yep, yeah, does accept the commission. Moulin Rouge, didn't you do the Moulin Rouge? Uh, oh, that was a quick one. Yeah. Someone says that you look really similar to a makeup artist from YouTube called Lisa or Liza Eldridge. Should we look it up and see if we agree? Oh, yeah, I know. I know what she looks like. Eddie said uh, that you're Kira Knightley. Huh? Deb gets it. Eddie, who do I look like? Or did you say, did he say Ashton Kutcher? I think, yeah. Or, I think, uh, what you got to do is get under the bed and they're going to come and they're going to kill you. That guy, what's his name? What's that? Um, do it again. No. You're going to uh, get under the bed and no. they're going to kill you. <laughs> No, uh, oh, what is he saying? Lisa Eldridge. I don't really see it. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe a bit. Um, what? Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, yes, 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 right? Liam Neeson. Oh, yeah, I, I've I heard that it. one before. Totally. Get out of the bed. You mean, um, yeah, I don't know who, Irish, I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't know who you are. What do you want with my daughter? But I will find you. Yeah. And I will kill you. That's the one. Is that? Yes. <laughs> um, uh, Ro young Robert De Niro, I've heard too. Yeah. Also, Ezra Pound. Yeah. Have a very similar face. Uh, Christine G says, Oliver, I can't wait for my Lena Illustrated book. You mentioned in an email that it was sent. All the people who bought the Illustrated books during last week's pub quiz, they have all been illustrated and sent. It took longer than we thought. <laughs> Not yes. just, uh, even just sending them took ages. Yeah. Going to the Paris post office isn't something I'd want to do too mm. often. But what I did is I bought a bunch of extra stamps and uh, customs forms and envelopes. So yeah, now- Yeah, so we got a stash. Got a good stash at home now. So if you, and I'm only gonna say this once, cause I don't want this to be a QVC commercial. I kind of do, but- <laughs> What are you gonna do? <laughs> But if, you are you, would you do more drawings in the box? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. Okay, I'll put the link there. I mean, there were quite a lot last time. Lena went, okay, you did go overboard there. So for you guys who did get it, what, which she did like an Eiffel Tower in the front, and then, uh, and she was going to do one or two little hidden sketches throughout. Uh, she little did about, eggs. I think you did about seven. Yeah. Well, I wanted it to be fun. I don't know. It was really cool. I felt inspired. And I can't take pictures of it to show you because they're on my phone. Um, but I said the link. We're selling them. Um, so if you go to that link I just shared, if you're in America, 25 euros for a book, 40 for an illustrated book. Right? Mm -hmm. um, Correct. But uh, all the people who bought it, we sent them out already. Now, he does look like Liam Neeson, but Liam is too old to play Oliver. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh, With damn. some makeup, though. <laughs> he knows how to find people. That is true. What does that mean? A good Googler. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they mean. Aiden Gillen could play all that. How did this turn into a conversation about... I don't know, but this is... This is fun. Who's Aiden Gillen? Yeah, Emil, yours is on the way. Yep, yep, yep. I sent it. It was cool because Lena did, Lena did all these different uh, sketches. And when I got to your one, she, she sketched out 10 books and like, she did them all differently. And so one that, 
the one I picked up for you, Emil, <laughs> I picked it up and it was full of like red love hearts on the inside. I was like, that doesn't feel right at all. And I was like, have you done love hearts in all the books? This is for a guy, it's for a strapping lad. Or maybe for his girlfriend yeah, but, or whatever, but still. Yeah. And then I picked up the next one, totally different, masculine, blue. So you got that one, Emil. There's the good news. Maybe you want, maybe, I mean, maybe you want. <laughs> Too late. Can't you be like, oh, yeah, Dan. Too late. Oh, Aiden Gillen. Ah, oh, what? You think I look like that guy? He's uh, Littlefinger. Oh. Who, who wrote that? Michael Chady. I can do Littlefinger too. You want to hear that? Yeah. Because he talks exactly like one of the guys who edited my book, Paul. Um, uh, what would he say? This, this, Irish. This. It's the same character. Irish. It's this Irish accent. It's not really Emil different. wanted a heart. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're getting the masculine blue. Then he said, Clot, he'll be like, oh, hell. Clot, I'm good. Um, mm -mm, little finger, little finger. My name, my name, Irish, Irish. My name is Little Finger. You have been messing with the wrong character in Game of Thrones. Does that sound like it? <laughs> because what, that reminds me. What I used to do is I used to work with a guy who had the exact <laughs> same voice actually. when I used to work at a uh, newspaper, and he was one of the editors. And I used to imitate him talking dramatically about stupid newspaper stuff because <laughs> little thing you remember in game of thrones was everyone's killing each other yeah so he'd tell us to do something and i'd imitate him going like um like oliver the story that i asked you to write about the moose that had escaped <laughs> in the high school in sweden this is swedish news your headline is too long you need to fix the headline <laughs> you need to make a better ending as well <laughs> call the headmaster Get a quote and be on your way. And I thought it was brilliant and nobody else thought it was good. And I was so glad to have a platform to Finally. do this for you guys. Finally. Hope you God, enjoyed that. Watchers are dropping at this speed. That was good. That's like, oh, tough crowd. No, How you liked it. Yeah. No one else did. No, it's That's good. fine. That's fine. It's Eddie, fine. Eddie thinks Adrian Brody for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. That could be a good one. You know what, I've got yeah, a, I've got yeah, a yeah. thing I they say that, that um, for when someone tells you you look like an actor or a famous people, famous person, if you hear it once, forget it, it doesn't mean anything, mm. you know? Yeah. Like if someone comes up to me and goes, you look like Brad Pitt, and it's the first time I've heard it, you go, forget it. Yeah. You're, you're Two? wrong, you're wrong. Two, you go, okay, I'll store that for later. Yeah. Three? Then you yeah, can say, yeah, people yeah. tell me I look like. So whose chemistry with Kira would be electric? What is this plot going on? <laughs> Adrian Brody and Kira Knightley for the dramatic version of the movie. I love it. <laughs> Do you think I could see them together? That's amazing. Kira Knightley, Adrian Brody. I could. He it would be have to. I don't think. I don't know. Adrian can. He does lend himself to comedy as well. <laughs> Do you remember um the the what's the Wes Anderson movie? Yeah. Crossing India. Oh, yeah. Kira, yeah, yeah. can she do comedy? Colette, there was a few funny bits in that. Yeah, she went for it. Yeah, hey, I think you're onto something. She really did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. I want to watch that movie. Yeah, I can see it. Something funny, uh, speaking of Eddie, my brother, is he's reading the book. Where are you up to, Eddie? Tell me a page number. Pirates of the Caribbean. True. Very True, funny. Yeah, yeah. Not really, was it? She'd have I mean... to do an accent for you, though, because she's quite uh, like posh English. Yeah. You don't have to change the no. movie. Like when we go to Le Marie, she'd be like, I'm quite happy to be here. <laughs> but Eddie, Eddie wrote song. Eddie said to me that he imagines... The slowest scooter starring Adrian Brody. <laughs> I love it. I really like I that. I love it. This is this is happening. Because they changed the name of it for Does a Does someone have well. their contacts? Like, I just... Yeah. Love Actually her. Oh, yeah, she was in Love Actually. She was a bit annoying in Love Actually, though, wasn't she? Mm, yeah. Also, I never understood why she went and kissed the guy at the end. Why did she do that? Spoiler alert, sorry. Why did she go why? kiss him? It's like, just go hug him This is me. Yeah, I felt sorry for the boyfriend upstairs. Um, Eddie's on page anyone. 76, and Eddie's convinced... Eddie says she loved him. Plot twist. Really? Well, if that's the case, a little bit. Yeah, but then... <laughs> Eddie, um, Eddie's, Eddie, convinced, <laughs> Eddie's convinced that one of the characters in the book is extremely good looking and doesn't want to know who it's based on in the hopes that that person is very good looking. Eddie, you can reveal who it is if you want. Uh, Heidi says, Breakfast in Montmartre would make a good name. 
for the aging Brody <laughs> Karen Knightley movie. Uh, Eddie, you're in the book. Who'd play you when Adrian Brody does his flashback scene to coming to Paris for the Who first time? Who would play Eddie? Oh, but he'd be 12 years old. He'd be the young uh, kid from... Um... A Home Alone guy? No, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's like 35 now. No, that's not happening. No, I know exactly the kid, but he's old, older now. But I can't remember the movie he's in. He's a little British kid in like one of those... From Narnia Love movies. Actually. The guy who's like... The Chocolate Factory. Yeah, yeah. Willy yeah, Wonka yeah, yeah. the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. That's you, Eddie, when you're 12. Ooh. Neil sends in $20 and go support the nearby merchants oh, fun quiz. That's so great. This guy gets it. Yeah. Is that... We totally will. Is that Neil the same Neil who's just discovered the earful and sent me a long email the other day that I haven't responded to yet? Just tell me if that's you, Neil. Because I know you there was... You haven't a, responded to. I put it on hold uh. for my Sunday emailing session. Yeah, fair enough. Who's the kid in love, actually? Yeah, it's that guy. It's, it's the same. Isn't it the same as Chocolate Factory guy? Tell me more. He's got such a face. What? What's know? the kid? No, 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 not the Love Actually kid. No, 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 no. no. Who are you thinking? Uh, that Love Actually kid is uh, like got quite a round face. Yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. thin face kid from um, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and he's always like, "Oh, can yeah. we? Shall we?" That's you, Eddie. Neil, yes, that is you. So I got your email, it was really good, and I wanted to respond to it properly. But Neil, just uh, new to this little community, everyone can say hi to Neil. He found the hi, podcast from the uh, New York Times and went and got a book, joined on Patreon, oh, watched the pub that's quiz. Great. He became a proper, like, I'm full in immediately. So welcome to the club. You'll find these people are extremely uh, kind and fun There's and a generous. Big crowd. Yeah, welcome, Neil. Everybody, welcome, Neil. Yeah. And he should be played by a young Macaulay Culkin. But it's too late. <laughs> we need someone today. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. I want to write a whole thing about this. We should write like a fake uh, cast. We should. And, fake, and then send it so to Hollywood. Funny. Yeah. If that happened, by the way, I know some people's books do get made into movies, but if that exact same, same thing happened, <laughs> Adrian Brody and Kieran Ivey in the slowest scooter. I would laugh for about four weeks in a row. I would just keep going, that is so dumb. Oh, oh yeah. I'd be so uh, happy to, like, if they yeah. called and they're like, we want to talk about buying a right to your book, I'd be like, 500 bucks. I just want to see this. 50. I was like, mention the podcast. I don't need the money. Oh, wow. Amazing. I need I need you to mention Earful Tower halfway through. <laughs> that's all I want. Oh, that's too funny. There you go. Um, yeah, thanks, Ed. Ed. Eddie. Ed? For people asking about New York Times, the New York Times wrote a best uh, best travel podcasts. What was it? It was best podcast for the wandering ear ear, or Ooh. something like that. That was, was a great. Was a really nice write up. I tell you something I haven't mentioned yet. When the New York Times wrote that story. I, I look at my podcast stats quite a lot, but not religiously like a lot of other podcasters do. You do? Oh man, podcasters. Really? Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, there's one thing podcasters look at a lot, and it's the charts. It's kind of like music chart. I know you know, but I've never talked about this on the show because I think it's a bit weird to go on about it, but this was interesting for the first time. They rank all the podcasts in the world in every country. So mine's a travel podcast and a society one. And it's always floating around. Like in America, it sometimes is in the top 50 or whatever. After like Disney and Frommers and all the Rick Steves, all like that. Mm -hmm. And in other countries, it can go high. And sometimes it goes very high and drops down. But it's pretty constant. And then someone messaged me and said, have you looked at the charts lately? And I was like, I haven't. And they go, you should look at the charts. So I signed in. So for all the podcasts in the world travel podcast listened to in America the Earful Tower has been at number one for a week that's it's, incredible it's the number one travel podcast in the United States and it was number one in Canada it was number one in uh, it was number one in like many countries like a lot of unusual countries too but all the big countries and in England and stuff it was quite high but they don't read the New York Times as much I guess uh, but it, it flew whoosh, all the way at the top incredible. and it was it was truly cool so, yeah. And it was cool too. I hadn't looked at the charts for like at least two weeks or something. Mm. So it was really cool to go in and see what the um, 
trajectory had been. But I never talk about it because I think, I think it's kind of weird for podcasts to go on about the charts all the time. What do you think? I think you can mention it, but maybe like, yeah, I think what you're doing is good. It's Mentioning it once after three years, when it gets to number one. That's it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been looking at the comments. Yeah, what's happening in the comments? Um, everyone's oh. saying hi to Neil. Oh, that's nice. That's now you're exactly. here for life, Neil. That's all we like that's to it. see. <laughs> you're in the community. What's that <laughs> movie? Um, it's called Freaks or something. Mm-hmm. One of Us. Do you remember that? No. That's kind of weird. I need to watch Charade. Yeah, me too. I already do. Carl Let's says, Oliver it. and Lena, seriously though, this would be a fun movie. Think about the wedding scene. Oh, Carl, you should have been there. And like, it Eddie, was like even funnier in real life. Eddie, who was at the wedding, says it was iconic. Totally iconic. It, it was. totally was. God, we had, it's, it's, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I can't believe that. It was just, we planned it so well and it was so perfect. And then the sky just opened up and yeah. We started dancing in the rain. It was very Mamma Mia. Spoiler alert. Very ABBA. Spoiler alert. Something left right again. Oh yeah. Sorry. Or maybe not dancing in the rain. <laughs> maybe not. I, I resisted the all urges. They weren't really urges, but I didn't exaggerate anything in that book. I don't know what the I know I know authors in Paris. I know people who exaggerate the hell out of stories. I'm definitely not naming names, but I know that there's mega exaggeration going on. And uh, I didn't exaggerate anything. Mm. I told the story. It's probably because I was a journalist and I wanted to keep true. But like, you know, those weird yeah. stories that happened or things not that seemed really crazy, anything. they were really right. crazy. Yeah. Like that wedding was crazy. Yeah, it's true. You didn't ex exaggerate anything. Like nothing. Well, that would be false, wouldn't it? Yeah. The wedding story was awesome, says Mark. And I saw your review on Goodreads, Mark. That was very kind of you to write that. <laughs> Carl says maybe there was no wedding. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So there's been talk. Here's an idea for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, Eddie, okay, hurry up and God. finish and read the book, will you? Um, yeah. There's been talk about, and I don't know how this would work or if it's a good idea, but doing, uh, like, you know how I've got a book club? Doing some kind of movie club or watching or screening obviously we can screen it but something where we just it's like we all press play at the same time and chat sort just of just like this something like that is that a good or a bad idea i think it's quite nice yeah i don't know if i, I don't wanna, know how it would you know work. what i think i think i wouldn't want to do it publicly from the start like this because i'm kind of like, who are we to watch a movie and have people watch yeah, us yeah, yeah. like at Maybe. least we've, we've done a quiz that we really worked on yeah and now we're just having an after party. Yeah. But I feel like if we start and go, hey, watch us watch a movie, mm. that's weird. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be... No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it would work. You know, people are doing it with friends. Yeah. That's a nice comment from Ron. It's a fun community. Us two, Vero, Jay, April, David, Leibovitz, mm. Yannick. It's like Hemingway and the crew. In the 20s for Midnight in Paris movie. Oh, wow. The only person I That's don't actually cool. know is Yannick. I've yeah, met yeah, her yeah. twice, but we never... We've, we've talked we've never of doing her. something, but we've never done it. Mm -hmm. she, she, once I was walking past... Um, uh, what's the Pigalle restaurant called? Bouillon? Pigalle? Mm -hmm. And I was just taking a picture of it because I needed a picture of the word Pigalle for something I was doing. And she ran out like screaming. She's like... Ah, ah, ah. And that was how we met. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> We'd passed briefly once before, but it was really cool. That's so weird. So oh, we've talked about doing something. So if you ever but think But how did she know you? Well, it's the way everyone know knows her. everyone. How it's funny. like the 1920s and midnight in Paris. That's <laughs> I love that. Christoph, I just... I haven't looked at the orders. Christoph ordered an illustrated copy. Ooh. That's something for you to do, Lena. I'll get to it. I wonder, will he want love hearts? And Joseph has just signed up on Patreon. Oh. Thanks, Joseph. That's great. And sorry if, if I was a bit hard on you about when you wrote the answer. Oh, no. It's all... It's all good fun. Okay, let's You're see. You're not actually see. in jail. Can you, can you talk while I think? Or just maybe we just can be quiet every now and again. Yeah, maybe. I don't know the rules of all maybe. this. I mean, what should I do with these cutouts? So Christopher... I think they're pretty fun. Maybe I can make something with it. 
Christopher and Kareen mm -hmm. have got uh, illustrated copies. Mm -hmm. And Chris James. Okay. Great. In Papakura, New Zealand. Cool. <laughs> well, I'll get busy then. Well, it's you... all about that. That's yeah. cool. I'll put that link again for anybody else. Oliver didn't get this one, the Picasso one. I know. What? How did you look at it? Actually, it's very... Uh, it was hard. But I guess this could be I seen no as like that. a mouth. But really, that's the face. I don't know. I just don't know. So, uh, <clears throat> Mark Vickers says, have a beer on you. <laughs> there you go, I'll do it right now. But yeah. I was talking to Jay Swanson, YouTube megastar, and he just ordered a case of beer. And that was part of what gave us the idea to, um, to supporting the local communities. Yeah. Thanks, exactly. Mark. Exactly. This isn't the one that you just got, but this is dedicated to you. Yeah. So Eamon said that this could be the mountain from Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so I had a chat with um, Jay just on Zoom. We have it every now and again, we just had a chat, catch up with each other. And then I had this idea to do this episode about um, what's your part of Paris look like? And so halfway through the call, I did this, um, I was just like, because he lives quite close to the Eiffel Tower, and I just got him to talk about Trocadero. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Yeah. It's empty, dead, but also oh, just yeah. how everyone's doing. So I'm gonna, my idea is I'm going to call Boris. Remember Boris the Brain? The Serbian tour guide who knows everything With about Paris. massive hair. Yeah. I'm gonna, I ran into him the other day, really that randomly. That guy has more hair than I do. Yep. So he lives down near Rue Claire in the 7th, and then Veronique in, I think, the, near the 20th somewhere, I think. I would actually know where she lives. And I was thinking April Pet to chat about the canal, and then me talking about Montmartre, and maybe Baxter talking about the left bank. So that's my idea. That's too many. I don't know if it'll work. But five minutes with each of them. What is your corner of Paris looking like in lockdown? Boris is well. He was... um. He, because he lives in the seventh, I bumped into him because he was running an emergency, so I couldn't chat for very long. But he was going to a pharmacy for someone or something like that. And he, he came past me on his bike, and I saw him, and I was like, that guy looks exactly like Boris. And he got closer, and he went past me. But I was like, his hair is like, like that big. <laughs> I was like, couldn't be Boris. But I just, I, I had a feeling. I know him quite well, enough to recognize him. I've, I've spent hours. We and hours were, we it. attended an online toga party with him oh, last yeah. week. So and I, I was like, was... Boris, and he turned around. We had a chat, and he's doing well. But he said, I don't know if he told me this in confidence, actually, but he's not very confident about the tour industry picking up anytime soon. Mm. I won't tell you what he said in case he said it privately. But I figured. I said, yeah, look, tough. I'll try and promote you and anyone else I can, so I have a little bit of a platform, and at the very least, people can follow on Instagram or something, so that at the end of it all, at least people have a, um, you know, yeah. a following. Lynn says, can I do a live Zoom with guests and stream it on YouTube? That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Live Zoom and stream it on YouTube. Yep. You're onto something, Lynn. I'm going to do, for you guys who are Patreon supporters, check your Patreon inbox because tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm going to do the first ever Patreon hangout where we'll have all of us. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea how many people will show up. Yeah. There's four, there's 399 Patreon supporters. So potentially it could be 399. I bought the Zoom Imagine account that. that has a cutoff at a hundred people. So, oh, right. Okay. Well, but hopefully you guys you know, are all spread out. Well, you know, what's really weird that I find weird about things like Patreon is like 400 people said, yes, I want to support, this is cool. Mm -hmm. But I know for a fact, even with this video, that all 400 would never show up to the same thing. Isn't that weird? Yeah. So I think if I had to guess for tomorrow, I'd say 40 max. Yeah, that sounds weird. Which is manageable. And Maria has a funny story with Boris. Maria, tell the story now. Yeah, I want to know. Funny incident with Boris when we left your book launch party last year. What? What did he it's do? It's so great that you were at that book launch, Maria. That seems like ages ago. Yeah, it does. Christine when was says that? it was November, maybe. 
November? No, no, it was December because it was when I was launching the Kickstarter. And I went to January 7th, I think. Uh, Luxembourg Gardens is locked. Yeah. Every park is closed, even the small ones. I love that you guys all recognize the name of Boris. <laughs> Patreon Hangout, 6 p.m. Paris time. Yes, that's it. Also, um, did you guys... It is early in L.A., I saw that. I think it's like 9 o'clock in L.A. Mm. But, you know... If, it's not too it's a test. bad, I guess. So I didn't want to make a huge thing and, make, and get everyone together in case it doesn't work. Yeah. So if you really want to try it, come in at 9 o'clock. If you can't make it, leave it for the New Yorkers and the people in Europe. Um, Lucy, I follow so many great Paris-based accounts because of you, Oliver. That's really cool. Oh, that's nice. That's really cool to hear. Never hesitate to remind those people where you came from. Yeah, words of a true godfather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I just think it's cool. You write, um, hey, I, uh, Oliver put me onto you. Because the actual reason I do that is that they go, oh yeah, Oliver has some clout. I'll go on his show again. Because I don't get people on my show uh, unless I uh, believe in what they do and I want to promote them and all that stuff. So, you know, mm. it's good that they know that it's worth their time. The Notre Dame was a year ago. Um, the latest is, I was back and forth with the mayor of the Marais on Instagram the other day, trying to get a bit of an answer, and it seems like everything's just shut down, so that's not going anywhere, and Macron commented on it the other day, but it's not. What did he say? He said, uh, it was after his lockdown speech the day after, and he just said, you know, you can imagine, he said something like, mm. uh, he said something along the lines of, uh, you know, it's been a great tragedy and blah, blah, blah. We're going to yeah. work on it as soon as we can. Um, anyway, we've been talking for 160 minutes. So this is the last five, I think. Is that fair? That sounds fair. Last five minutes. If you've got questions to get in, get them out right now. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to finish myself talking about the ebook, the audio book that I've been doing. If you haven't been checking it out, it's uh, well worth a look. What do you think about it? I think it's really fun. It's so fun to hear. So Oliver's like calling people to get the people who feature in the book. He uh, he calls them and, and get the audio. They get them to speak their lines. And um, today you got someone really good. I don't know if we should say more than that, but it was just so fun. I got an actor. This guy is actually an actor. It's not the real person from the book. No, because I don't know who the real person exactly. is. Like I just met him once. That is once. so good. And I call, called him, I was like, do you mind doing this? And he's like, I'm so glad to have something to do. And then he sent the audio in. And when I listened to it, I've listened to it, I think, four times now because he yeah. really went all in on it. It's, it's so, so good. funny. Yeah. It's really good. So uh, Lachlan says the audio book rocks. And that's there for the people who are at $10 on Patreon. Yeah, are you up to date, Lachlan? I think everyone who's enjoying it is caught up because it's only about mm -hmm. an hour, you know? Yeah. Uh, and the audiobook is fun to listen to. I love seeing the process. All of his computer mixing tracks on Instagram. Mm. I'm really glad no one's commented on it yet because I know eventually some expert will be like, you're doing it wrong. When I shared those <laughs> Instagram videos, it was unfinished. doesn't really matter. But, you know, like some things are high, some things are low, and some people are going, no, no one is going. But an expert would say, mm. you're doing it wrong because it was unfinished. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to put enough. that out there. Fair enough. Lachlan listens every day when he walks. Oh, that's nice. That's good. And Christine G, it's a small character. It's the um, it's the downstairs neighbor, not Stefan, the next door neighbor, but the guy who comes and helps me with my internet and swears on the phone. <laughs> Any questions? What did that say? Uh, I started listening to your pod when I heard about the honeymoon. And then join us in France. Have you asked Annie about questions for your quiz? I haven't. Mm, Remember Annie? She's fun. Yeah. She's one of my favourite guests because she makes me laugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Let's start winding up now. I'm getting tired. It's late and we had an early morning. Weren't you running at 6 o'clock in the morning? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> no, but I think we're going to wind it up. Um, I see... I think we gave shout-outs to everyone who got the books. On Patreon, three ninety seven. Hopefully, we get to four hundred soon. That's so no, no three ninety nine. What? Goodness me! <gasps> what? 
one more and mm. you got the big 400. I'm going to celebrate that. That's so exciting. Oh, Emil signed up. Oh, wow. That's so kind of you, Emil. Oh. That's really kind of you. Well, whoever signs up next is the 400th, and then we have a, a, a some, some kind of party, I think. A little celebration. Some people have been pulling out because of COVID. I got another one today. It's very understandable. So, uh, thanks for replacing that person, Emil, and anyone else. Now's the time, be number 400, you get a big shout out. Good night to everybody. Ron found us through David Leibovitz, mm. and found Jay through us. It's like a. Oh, wow, it trickles down. <laughs> Emil wanted to be 400. Okay, Emil, oh. I'll give you a shout out on the next uh, yeah. chance to shout out. That sounds uh, good. I'll give, you the, I'll give you a shout out too, as well as whoever is number 400. <laughs> but it means a lot that you're supporting like that. I hope you enjoy the book. 399 is a good number. Yeah, I think that is, in a way, it's cooler than 400. You got any closing words, Lena? Um, I just hope that all you guys have a really good rest of the weekend and stay healthy and happy. And yeah, just take care. That was lovely. That's what I want to and say. And that is why she's called Lovely Lena. I think everyone is probably following you by now, but Parisian postcards if you want to check her out. Um, uh, that'll do. Okay. See you Zoom tomorrow. Otherwise, pub quiz, same next time week. next week. Exciting. Bye, Eddie. Thanks Bye. For, thanks for being a great brother. Uh, oh, look. S. Zandri is the girlfriend in number 399. Nine. That's a claim to fame. Svenska, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. 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 Au revoir, Dinke. Goodbye, Alexandra. Good night, Belmans Gordon. Yeah, Ruth. Good night. My mom's called Ruth. Is that my mom? I don't know. It's pretty sweet.